year being in this shit. Two months foggers.
Why'd Peepo Happy? Chad no sabe. Two trimesters down hassle. Oh, look, another year gone. What's going on, everybody? Told my son I subbed to Hussein and he called me an L nerd. I hope everyone's having a fantastic evening, afternoon, pre noon. No matter where you are in the world, I'm a Sam Piker and this is Austin awesome. Broadcast coming to you live. From sunny California, Los Angeles, we are live and alive, folks. And I hope all the boys, girls, and MBs are having a fantastic day. It is Wednesday, July 21st, 2021, 11.35 a.m., and I'm a little late, and I apologize, but the reason for why I'm a little late is because I had an absolute slapper of a podcast that I recorded with friend of the show, my friend, Andrew Callahan. That's right of channel five royalty man the myth the legend uh the episode will be uh out tomorrow episode is going to be the episode 12 of fear and molding the podcast that i do with also my best friend will neff that was a lot of fun so i uh you know i hope you guys check that out Go listen to it, stream it, stream fear and molding, folks. That's what we need to promote. That's the kind of attitude we need to have. Stream fear and molding. Like uh, how those uh, Stan Twitter people do it. You know what I'm saying? Even Mubarak. Um, it was a lot of fun. He he leaked a bunch of really cool shit on it. Never before, never heard before, never seen before. Have you seen the Space Jam movie? No, I have not. And I really wanted to. And I have not had the opportunity to... I have not had the opportunity to watch. Sigma grinds it at its best. Yeah. Don't it's awful. It's pretty mid. Okay, well, I'm going to watch it regardless. Anyway, um, I hope everyone's having a fantastic one. Other than that, though, I, uh, you know... End of the broadcast last night. I hung out with my family. I did not work out this morning, unlike most mornings. Uh, also, uh, 
Thanks. Yeah, for the tomorrow of at uh, 3 p.m. we're gonna watch a criminal psychology video with Valkyrie. So there's that. I'm I'm collabing, boys. I'm collabing. Yeah, that's true. Happy Wednesday in 10 months. Let's go. I'm going to say, can't wait to discuss all the techniques. Have you seen this yet? This is a real ad I just got on YouTube. Is it the communist ad? Yes. Oh, we're going to talk about this, baby. That one is so good. How is that going to work? You just watched the vid together, Omega LOL? Yes, dude. Nine months. Let's yes. go. We're going to be tag teaming murder, dude. I just got back from a 40 mile backpacking hey, trip. Love what crazy. Doing, it up. <sighs> I found this channel called Rare Earth that puts out insanely good quality videos. I think you really like them. Here's one I recommend. Okay, we'll look at that later. All right, we're not going to do that yet. Yep, almost a year ass. Anyway. You gonna react to Andrew on DNM? Yes. Jesus Amaro had Andrew. We're gonna watch that today as well. Uh, yes, that is going to happen. Um, any, anyway, any who? Uh, so yeah, last night uh, I watched a show called Heist, and I thought to myself, like, yeah, I, I thought to myself, this show is gonna be good, right? Because it's fucking Heist. Like, how bad could it be? Like, it can't be bad. It's about cool heist. I love that. You know what I mean? It is the worst show I've ever seen. Like, it's actually impressive how they turned... How they turned... A show that is supposed to be about, like, actual heist, which is cool, into the most boring retelling of events like they stretched it it's like money heist might be good i'm talking about no 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 no. it's not money heist this is like supposed to be a documentary about this three million dollar heist in vegas what like 10 months and it was absolutely terrible Um, did you see Sexy Beast Shout got released on Netflix? Gaming channel forever has buffed. I don't get it. Did you change? Did you change out the drip to start the stream? No, I I just had a uh, I had a, a pajama top on that I took off because it was gonna be too Love hot. Drip. Have a great stream. Money Heist is amazing and it's about to come out with a new season. I heard Money Heist is really good. Anyway. Are you interested in joining the MMO meta? Most likely hassle, not. Hassle, hassle. That's probably not going to happen. I'm going to be honest with you. I I will most likely not going to. I'm most likely not going to do that. Um. <clears throat> Let's why is go. it always reacts and drama collabs or never gaming collabs? Gaming collabs. Gaming when? Gaming soon. Okay. My listen here. Do you want to know? Do you know? Want to know why I've been holding off on Skyward Sword? Here. I don't know if he's in here right now, but the reality is, uh, I know that Ultra PG bought me Skyward Sword. Okay. He went and he bought me Skyward Sword for my birthday. You, and it's in my PO box. The and the reason in why the I haven't in the played it as yet, well. as I promised I would, is because I'm waiting to open to do my PO box. So then I'll get it and I'll be like, oh my God, surprise. Has raid, like, has raid. surprise. Uh, Ultra PG got me Skyward Sword. Like, that's why I'm that's why your your Skyward Sword dreams are cucked to some degree. Even though a lot of Zelda fans say that it's the worst Zelda game out there. Why can't you just make an alt channel for gaming instead? I feel like that resolves some issues. I don't know. Okay, there's a, a bunch of different reasons uh, that I don't make an alt channel. One, because like it's just too much work. I don't want to do it. And two, like I don't want to just do an alt channel where I play video games, man. Like, 
you would get like zero views yeah totally dude totally that's totally what would happen part of the reason why i don't want to do an all channel is because like i don't want to i don't want to uh just i don't know separate my content sex magic i don't want to separate my content and then like i from what i understand people that have all channels oftentimes like they gravitate towards that all channel over and over again and uh Sexy they just up. start streaming on that a lot more bro why are why are people literally direct just like linking central committee stream on here like just go watch the stream why are you fucking linking it here i don't understand it's always so strange like when you're like hey man i know you like are wa doing your own stream right now but you should like watch this other stream instead stop caring about numbers dude it's my fucking job dude A gaming channel would also imply that you'll regularly be dedicating time to gaming when that just isn't the reality most of the time. Yeah, right now I'm not playing a lot of games. I'm not playing a lot of games right now. Hassle, hassle, hassle. So that's what it is. Um it's it's there's no other reason like there isn't Love like a different reason guys i played ratchet and clank with nine thousand people watching like if i like a game and i want to finish a game i'll play it feel me hassle like let me live man let me live okay What did Jim Pisaki say about uh, Blue Origin and Jeff was going to space? Ten months, let's fucking go. Oh God, I yeah, okay. Hey BB, have a good stream. Hey chat, have a normal stream. PLS God, just be normal. Heart. I have watched the YouTube channel that chapter. Anyway, uh, I did the uh, dude. Andrew is doing a lot of uh, a lot of fun stuff, a lot of cool stuff coming out, and I'm very excited to see all of it. And I'm very excited for you guys to hear about it on the podcast. But let's get started on the news because, um, you know, there's some stuff I want to talk about. So I'll just tweet out that I'm live. Daycare is open. I'm live and alive. It's my birthday. Phil's birthday, man. Quackity ordered a shirt of you last night. Yeah, can someone send me that photo again? I know you guys had a screenshot of that. I want to post it on Twitter. I think it's funny. We are going to talk about the Alabama City Council member saying the N-word. <laughs> okay um Fauci lied people died is is uh trending again people are still having a hard time hiring applicants Hold on, I'm going to tweet this. I sub while you were offline waiting for my daily drama feed, Arjan. Hassle.
Alright, I tweeted it at Quackity. Has right, has silly, has left. Mike's chat is full of ho ass Gen X assholes. This is hilarious, dude. My man went and got my alt merch. Or fake merch. Hello. All right, let's go. Easy peasy just... lemon squeezy. Easy money, easy money. What? <laughs> what is that? That's Hassan. That's Hassan. Won't stop, won't stop. Among Us! Among, among Us! <laughs> you got awesome. size tables and everything. That's awesome. You're supporting a, a stream as much. Wearing... <laughs> Congrats. Let's spin the wheel! Let's... What is that? What, what is he doing on that stream? I love that. That's not new merch. He also got a main dress. I just hate the fact that you would rather side with communists and sock them. What? Dude, I I'm not having a conversation with you, dude. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. Every time he took damage, he bought something random, chat said. I love that. Oklahoma Senator is That's banning, uh, threatening to ban the sale of Ben and Jerry's in Oklahoma. I love that. Uh, they were making movies about car penis and cussy. Five now it won the start. French Oscar. Hell yeah. When are you getting merch, bro? We are working on it. I've told you guys. Anyway, hold on. Daycare is live and alive. Six I'm alive. Sub. Now I have to bank. Okay. We're talking about Alabama. Ooh. Alabama GOP One council day, member the you saying your life with us. the N word. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that with the merchandise Castle. stuff. I'll, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, actually, I'll talk about that after I write this promo. I love the fact that you always try to be honest with us. Maybe time to be honest with Being yourself. When are you getting married and have a family? Now. Sometimes I think maybe I shouldn't be so honest with you guys. Like, just like the level of accessibility I have can genuinely be a problem. And, and when I hear stuff like this, it, it honestly is, you know? Okay, I'm only, everybody relax. I'm only 30 years old. Okay, I'm gonna be 30. So chill out. Come on, chat, let's stand up and scoot. Sitting all day is bad for you. Has scoot, has scoot, has scoot. Yeah, we'll talk about the Alabama doctor too. There's going to be more, uh, there's going to be more meme stuff today than before. Your dad joined Twitch? What, who's my dad? Chat behave today or else Papa Ajahn won't give us Choco Milky's cake. Marjorie, Titan, Green, and so much more news. And react. Get in now. W W W dot which dot TV slash pasta. I don't know why I place a lot of emphasis on like what I write because I never end up covering the things I say I'm going to cover or rarely ever cover the things I say I'm going to cover on my fucking title on Twitter. And it's more so just to 
let people know on Twitter if they haven't seen it that I'm live. You know what I mean? Anyway, retweet it though, folks. Do your knees creak now that you're 30? My knees have been creaking for a long time. Um, so what is this? I want to marry him. I don't know what that is, but maybe we'll take a look at it. So part of the reason why merchandise has been uh, hard to work with so far is because I'm the worst fucking client that they've probably ever seen. Okay. It's like, they're used to just like click, 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 drop ship, Chinese manufacturer, literally everything in inventory all the time unlimited amount of inventory they will work with you on no time frame you know what i mean and i'm like no i don't want that i want domestic manufacturing and i want unionized domestic manufacturing so when you do that it's like virtually impossible it's been incredibly difficult to to figure out like what the most like ethical uh production that's out there for garments the problem is um like when it comes to uh, certain things like union dom domestic manufacturing in unionized workspaces they just don't produce some of the shit i want to do like we have t-shirts okay we have t-shirts ethical a uh, virtue signaling How is that virtue signaling, you fucking idiot? It's literally something I believe in. Like, yeah, I'm signaling the virtue that uh, union workspaces are good. And up in the Discord, otherwise it'll split you. Like, no, union labor is great. Domestically manufactured union products are fucking awesome. Like my uh, my past merch line was union uh, products in America, and they were awesome, right? They were really fucking good. The problem is. <laughs> the the problem is like when you uh when you want to make like oh, yeah, cool just... and different shit you know what i mean like i want to do like pajama pants for example right like the pajama pants that i'm wearing you can see it on my instagram right like you can see it on my instagram uh in my latest instagram i'm wearing like here i'll just show it to you and also you guys should like that and also follow my instagram i never I never fucking what is this a socialist guide to surviving capitalism doing well isn't treason by Yugopnik okay cool um here so you should go like this by the way but so that's like cool right yeah good luck trying to get a fucking good luck figuring out like a, a domestically produced like union made uh, product to like pull this out of their ass and and have the same kind of runway that like other uh, companies would like i can't i just simply can't there's a lot of like cool shit that i want to do and i can't do it you know what i mean and it kind of sucks ludwig started a high quality merch company they're doing mischief's merch maybe ask him yeah except but he doesn't have uh i mean it's not union made still and is also not $500 for us. Wait, what do you mean? No, I don't care about the price of it. Even, even the union made merchandise is like more expensive than the Chinese stuff. The reason why, okay, I'll, I'll tell you a secret. The reason why you pay like $26 for something that's made in China is because they just want to fucking milk you. Okay. Most companies just want to milk you. The reality is like, the union made merchandise price point is a little bit higher ultimately as long as you just forego profits like i personally don't give a shit about like making a fuck ton off of every t-shirt that i sell so i don't really give a shit do you see what i'm way, saying there's a dope food scene i can show you that's why also, like even my nails, even my like regular domestic manufacturing uh, union made merchandise was like only a little bit more expensive than like regular t-shirts like it was like $26 or something? I don't remember. Thanks for helping me um, keep going in these hard times. Is that really a secret? I mean, I guess it's not. I don't really remember how much my merch was, but...
literally just cut out the middleman yeah it was 25.99 it was 26 dollars yeah so yeah colin carrot but the issue is the issue there is like i don't want to fucking w work on this shit like this is not i don't want to make this a full-time job okay can't wait for podcast i don't want to i don't want this to be a fucking full-time job where i'm like constantly you know tracking down production stuff and um the problem is that i like i wanted to make short i wanted to make shorts in the first merch line which is almost ready by the way fun fact like we have a we have a t-shirt coming out and we have a hoodie coming out like i'm gonna reveal it with because uh, i've been working with this like white label production uh for for all around like a 360 merch deal basically and i'm gonna do uh our first line and i it's it's all fan art for the record like you guys and it's gonna be tie-dye yes Are most of your personal items made domestically or are you just applying that principle to your merch line? It would genuinely be super cool if most of your stuff was made in the USA. No, no, nothing. I, I don't fucking know. I don't look, I don't look out for that at all. No, when I'm buying, no, I think it's entirely different if you're producing items yourself versus like buying them. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> also are the artists being paid? Yes. Um, I don't even know like what the back end deals look like. I don't deal with that at all. I'm just like, this is a good artist. I want you to use this art. And then they reach out to them and talk to them and cut a deal with them. I don't know how that works, but, um, like I said, it's, it's turnkey. I'm not supposed to do anything, but again, like I want to make shorts, right? And I can't because the uh the ones that are like readily available that have like products that they can immediately move on for example well those um those the the, the the garment producers don't have any shorts so for example the garment producers that you can get from right now even when it comes to domestically manufactured products not unionized workplace UX, workplaces but just domestic like american made product you have like one fucking type of short that you can buy long ass like all the way under your fucking knee ass shorts that they make it sucks Wholesale sweater is around $11, then Thrasher Supreme Tillies, then sells it for 70 plus. Yeah. Lesbian pride. Using your real, use your real voice today. Good one. Los Angeles apparel. Wait, this is not fucking union made, dude. What are you crazy? It's NAFTA compliant. Yeah, Los Angeles Apparel isn't union made, I dude. Due tomorrow, please what are you talking about? They literally got so like, hunter. they literally got owned recently for having like sweatshops. You know that American Apparel used to like, they got popped for basically like running sweatshops in the middle of, uh, of, of Los Angeles, right? So it's just hard. It's just hard to like figure it out, unfortunately, but you know, I'm working on it. Okay. Three people died of Los Angeles apparel due to COVID because of the poor working conditions.
Soda Poppin does a cool merch competition where he selects the best designs from his fans and pays the winners. Yeah, I know. Except I don't want to do that because... Even when I do, like, competitions, people lose their fucking minds. I have a lot of artists who are, like, competitions are just a way to, like, steal money from talented artists in your community or whatever. We are all winners There's, here. I mean, there was so much drama around at one time because, like, the community wanted me to do, like, a talent show type thing uh, for my for my channel banner. And I'm such a fucking hard-headed asshole that this is literally my banner still to this day. The reactions that uh, dumbasses in my community had to my my banner might not be exploitative but only a hundred dollars bro come on buddy you have 131k subscribers it's not unreasonable to expect you to pay for artwork like a professional adult guess what motherfuckers i think my youtube channel's doing all right and the banner had absolutely zero to do with it so shut the fuck up also we're at like uh almost 700k subs now I mean, the community is no longer as annoying about this sort of stuff. Be a lefty, exploit workers, pick one. Adopt a leftist aesthetic and podcast for a lot of money. Live the capitalist life. Laugh in private about how utterly dumb and deluded your fans are. Literal capitalist millionaire. Can't keep up with this LARP. It is an exploitative labor practice. And no matter how much you meme, the facts of the matter stay the same. Do you guys yeah. remember this stuff? Yeah, leftism is when unsuccessful and no fun. Including like, I can't believe you didn't pay those commenters for using their comments on your banner. Just pay everyone for the time and labor, you bourgeois SMA champagne socialist exploiting the proletariat, Twitch obsessing hypocrite. Whoever this one was, I wonder who this person was. They have a fucking blue check mark and everything. Maybe just hire someone you know, uh, you like, rather than expecting 10 slash hundreds of people to provide you free labor. Maybe. Anyway, so for like some stuff that is impossible, for some stuff that's like impossible to impossible to make, union made and domestic made, I might just like use fucking, you know, another company. Like, I don't know which one it would be, like whatever it would be. But um, like, for example, if I want to do like a fucking mouse pad and I can't like figure out how to do it, but for everything else that is uh, available, everything else that I'm like trying to do, I'm going to do it. Uh... Motherfuckers be like sweatshop Pepela and then you go buy Shine or Shane or whatever the fuck. Months hassle. You know what I mean? Or like plastic goods and shit. Bro, if it's too hard, just do the standard and donate the profits. People are buying your bootlegs like crazy. Yeah, there's an entire... It's kind of scummy that people are buying... Uh, Like people fucking make and then like sell bootleg products of mine. Not because... Not because of me personally. Like I don't give a shit about the profits that I would make from like my own merchandise. But it's scummy because like someone else's art that's like someone else's fucking fan art that you are stealing you know what i mean that's so scummy dude why would you fucking do that it's incredibly scummy to the fucking fan art and to the people that make that fan art uh, like red bubble's entire economy revolves around that and it's really fucked that actually is gross as fuck Personally, I don't give a shit. Can you stop? Can't you stop them from doing so because your IP is not open in that regard? I mean, it's not my IP. It's not even my IP. It's fucking random artists that probably don't even know that like people are making hundreds of dollars off of their like work that they made for me. You see what I'm saying? Gang, gang.
Wait, hold on one second. Ethan is reaching out. About something. You have your rights to your image and likeness. Have you ever worn Ethan's clothing line? All the time, dude. I love his shit. I love Teddy Fresh. I have a lot of respect for... I have a lot of respect for people that are able to just like branch out and not stay in just the space of being a content creator. And no, I don't expect Happy them to fucking abide by my principles either. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like if you're gonna be like, well, what about Teddy Fresh? That's not fucking union. It's not uh, unionized or whatever. I, I, or, and it's Tila's by the way, it's not Ethan's. I know, 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 I know. Someone in the chat asked, uh, Ethan's like someone in the chat said Ethan's line. It is literally Hila's though. He's the one who's like put in the fucking work. Um hold on one second i gotta do something real quick over here anyway uh like i said though hey boys tomorrow we are going to uh we're gonna be doing a co like live like i'm just gonna be doing like some content with valkyrie which i'm very excited by excited nice. about because i never do this stuff like this I never, I never end up doing, uh, you know, fun crossover content like this. Yes, I'm going to pause the fuck out of the video. I'm going to do it via Discord and I'm controlling the pause button. Okay. Um, all right, let's get into it. So, uh, GOP city council member in Alabama. Two months, let's go. Do you have the Thanks full video or do you just me. the 17 second one where he just says the N word? I'm gonna, I literally told her, they call me Pazanabi, okay? I told, I told Valkyrie, they call me Pazanabi. Like, I'm just letting you know. Oh, here it is. Here's imposter edit. Full bit is boring AF. No, that's just the 16 second one. But here, okay, let's just start with that then. Here it is, folks. GOP city council member in Alabama says the N word. Watch out. We are going to, uh, you're going to hear the N word. I'm just letting you know. Did you tweet it out? No. I mean, I know I'm Do we have a house nigger in here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do we? Hey, yeah, yeah. do we? Would, 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 would she please stand up? Y'all are seeing this, right? It's camera. insane i need to know the context not that it's excusable in any context but still absolutely wild just a wild thing that happened at Tarrant, alabama city council meeting on monday a white councilman used a racial slur by black people causing noticeable shock among meeting attendees and upsetting one councilwoman so much she had to step away from the meeting according to a report tuesday the state focused website bama politics councilman tommy bryant 76 stood up and loudly asked but you heard already. Hassle. He says about one hour and 41 minute mark on the Facebook video above. You can also watch it here. I kind of want to see the fucking. And as I started speaking, he interrupted. So knowing that I'm going to get interrupted and not be able to say what I need to say, I usually just keep my mouth shut and don't say anything. So that's the reason I don't say things is because I get interrupted. Uh, I'm not respected and nobody cares about what the law hey least racist man in alabama boys what the rules are. They want to do i say sweet home alabama baby that's what i say mom point. i'm coming home to you my man deserves to be respected that's why he's saying just such respectable things okay their own thing here in the city of Tarrant. okay i'm can't, just gonna ask you outright chuck, chuck, let, let, let me let me I will, uh, uh council brian do you mind so i think part of the the um, 
the Discord that you received. Wait, why is this so oh. fucking quiet? It's kind of weird. Hey, turn up that racism, boys. Receiving from citizens is a direct result of some of the things that your wife is posting on, on Facebook. And let me actually read something that she posted. She says the Mr. Tatler, this all really, listen, this is between me and Chuck and the citizens. Oh There's nothing at all about what my wife is posting. But if your you, wife you speaks please, on your please, behalf. Please, would you please she leave my wife out of this? She speaks on your behalf and no, your wife. No one speaks on my behalf. behalf. Yeah. Tarrant Tatler, this also applies to the mayor and his racist ways Sorry, of Mr. getting Davis. rid Sorry, of all the white city employees so he can replace them with this chosen blacks, his chosen blacks. Some of those hired don't have the qualifications of those who quit because of the mayor or were fired by him. The city will suffer. The guys who work with street and sanitation left and there is no one qualified to operate the machines to cut weeds and grass on the sides of the roads that are not citizens' property. That is the reason why people are coming after you. Mr. Mayor, my wife has not put anything on Facebook in quite a while. And no, that's not true. So was that you? Then? There are that's people. That's not true because she made a comment about me on the Terrence Tatler Ev just the other day. Evidently, there's a way for someone to do something and put somebody else's name on it because okay. she this hasn't put anything on Facebook in a while. Because I, and I've never disrespected you or your wife, mm -hmm. and I feel that way because I have a spouse and won't be unto anyone that disrespects Mr. Bradford. I'm just here to tell. Watch him, dude. He's about to kamehame. You see that? He's charging up. He's I charging it up, boys. He's like, mm. okay. Anybody. That's so she does about. put uh, on the. This was about me and not my wife, and now. But your wife interject. Your wife love chat. Puts love herself in politics Six months well by posting things on Facebook, and she attributes it to you. Mr. If Mayor, you don't my, want your my, family. My, Yo, am I crazy? It's just so easy not to. Have your wife say racist ass shit, dude. Like, is it not easy? It's literally free. Like, it's one of the few things in the United States of America. Like, there's no such thing as a free lunch. But guess what? There is such a thing as a free experience. Okay? And that is just don't be fucking racist. You know what I mean? And you're in Alabama, like, you could probably fucking, I don't know, <laughs> probably legal to silence your wife in Alabama, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not that that would make it acceptable, obviously. But you know what I mean? Like, American this is the one instance where he's like, I can't do nothing about my wife. It's like, yeah, because you agree with her, you know what I mean? Involved, my, my, wife, post my wife can do what she wants to do. She's a big girl. She can take care of herself. And I'd appreciate it if you, if you want to talk to me about what I do, you can talk to me about what I do. Hassle. I'm big enough to take well, care of myself. Well, even your wife did say on there that you were against uh -oh. LBGTQ. She said that in one, one of those groups. Yeah. And she calls the, us no, black. She said the N word. N word. The N word. Let's get to the N word. I mean, hey, I know I'm black. Hey, do okay. we have? Uh oh, uh oh. His alt, his alt is charged up, boys. Boys, he's he's powered up, dude. Oh no. He's like my favorite subject, the N word. <laughs> oh no. When you see a dude, when you see a 76-year-old man in Alabama go, my favorite subject, the N word. You know. There is no productive discourse happening after that, okay? Do we have a house nigger in here? Oh, yeah, oh God. Okay. Do we? Hey, yeah, do yeah. we? <laughs> would would, would, would no, 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 she no. please stand up? Y'all are seeing this, right, Cameron? All right. That's what Miss Freeman was called. Not That's what the mayor Freeman. called her. What do y'all think about that? Huh? Y'all like that? In executive session. It was not any of us. I want to read something. Chuck, 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 I want to read. Chuck, I want to read something else that Nancy Bryan posted. She said, "What is? Who attends this?" 
Bro, that thing rolled off his tongue, dude. So easy. It just fucking rolled off his tongue so easy, dude. It's like me with top of the hour ad breaks. You know what I mean? Like when I say it's, it's time, folks, it's top of the god dang hour. Every hour, there's a 60 second ad break. Okay. I know I'm a little late to the game. I'm 17 minutes late if you want to be quiet. You know, timely about it. If you want to be nitpicky about it. Okay. But it's the first ad break of the day, and you already know the way that you can avoid those ads is uh, by subscribing. You can do it for $5, or you can subscribe for free. Kind of like how it's free to not be racist. A free experience on the internet. Twitch Prime, by connecting your, you know, your mom or your dad's Amazon Prime account to your Twitch, you get one free subscription a month, and not being racist. But here's the god dang ad break now. Restrict top of the hour ad betrayals to top of the hour. I mean, it, it really is. Uh, what is this? Also, I should be also. I should be able to say the N word. Where is this from? Here you go, you slime ball. <laughs> 225 Pepela? Yeah, guys, I don't believe that, obviously. Oh, David, I watch you Most, too much for these ads. Either it's fucking fake, or if it's actually my, uh, my Discord logs, it's very likely me hitting enter in between making an argument. Oh, clip chimp, you were making fun of someone else? Yeah, most likely. Like, very, very likely. Channel 5. Now, we have a question where he lives. He owns multiple rental houses in Tarrant. But Pepe is sure. Oh, come on, dude. Do you really want me to go find it in my own fucking Discord? What the conversation was, dude? Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Really? First of all, I should probably even ban that fucking uh, dipshit who, like, jokingly posted that, thinking that we were going to have enough, like, uh, adults in here to know what my background is. Okay? You know what I mean? It's great, man. It's great. One more month till the baby. I literally do this all the fucking time, dude. I fucking hate this kid. Senin ananın amını sikiyim. Allah belanı versin geri zekalı sabahtan beri aynı boku yazıyorsun. Senin amını sikiyim göt göt. Aa göt lalesi. Al bana al. Amcık ağızlı pezevenk. Fucking idiot. He keeps like highlighting it in Turkish. I don't even know what he's fucking saying. Hitiden yedin mi? Hassel has raid, has raid, Hassel has raid. Let's go, let's go. I don't even know what he's saying. Like, I don't even know what he's saying. But no one know, but no one we have talked to knows where he lives. The address, the address given for him. Oh, he was trying to say, have you ever taken it up the ass? Over and over and over again. Küfür etmeyi unutmuşsun abi, dolu olmadı. Hayır, küfür etmeyi unutmadım. Ama küfür ettiğim zaman çok böyle e, homofobik ve e, işte ne bileyim, e, kötü küfürler ediyorum. Çünkü alışmışım yani öyle şeyler söylemeye küçükken. Onları düzeltmeye çalışıyorum Türkçe konuşurken. Yani şu anki perspektifime göre e, küfür etmeye çalışıyorum. O yüzden bilmiyorum ne diyebileceğimi. Um, at one point is a rental with the Hispanic family living there. He told my husband he is rich and can live anywhere he wants to. This was after he belittled Tarrant and said only poor people live here. He seems to think being mayor made him God. As for how he got elected... Okay, this is boring. Uh, his thoughts on Muslims? Oh, hell yeah. You're talking about Here's John Bryant Tommy Bryant, Bryant showing his ignorance about Muslims right before spouting the N-word. This man must be removed from society. office. Oh, yeah. This is the video I was I saw originally. This is so fun. Okay, let's take a look. And everybody here said yes. We all agree to that. And, and that was great. About embracing everybody. 
and everybody here said yes, we all agree to that, and, and that was great. I don't think you really understand what you were saying, what you were agreeing to. For example, uh, Ms. Belfrain says she is a Muslim. All right. But it's good, so. What's wrong with the audio? Is the audio really bad? I don't know what it is. Uh, it's not like super bad on my end. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize for that. But, okay, but now let's say we have someone here as a Muslim. All right. And Muslim man. Embrace the Muslim. If you know anything about the Muslim religion, if you're not a Muslim, their religion says they need to kill you. Wow. I went on a date with a fellow who sounded by This guy, why is he leaking our secret doctrine, dude? What a fucking asshole. He knows. He knows, boys. The gig is up. Shit. Hassan is I can't believe he knows. Back. Yeah. Well, the racist bit came through loud and clear. Yeah, you guys, you boys, uh, you boys hear that part? Loud and clear, dude? Are you still on mono? I am. I hope you were able to catch that part, dude. Okay. Oh, that part came out loud and clear. Oh, here it is. Here. I put it on fucking, uh, I took it off mono. Oh God. It's so loud now. What the fuck? I was talking and someone interrupted me. And if you, and if you read the book, if somebody interrupts, you can have police remove them. Okay. I'm to, no, 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 no. Not letting me subscribe on my Twitch Prime? That's weird. I don't know why that happens. Hey, this is better. Y'all used to do that with Tuck. Remove the people. This is what y'all used to. We're, we're, we're not. Just sleeping. People sleeping at the fucking town hall. Happy one year, Himbo. <sighs> Anyway, I love that, dude. Uh, speaking of Alabama, here is a story out of Alabama. There's a doctor in Alabama, which is, uh, you know, congratulations. Okay. It's very cool that she was able to overcome being from Alabama and uh, even become a doctor. Uh, but, uh, yeah, apparently... Dr. Brittany Kobe has said on Monday that all but one of her COVID patients in Alabama did not receive the vaccine. The vaccinated patients, she said, which, by the way, Alabama has one of the lowest rates of vaccinations in the country. I think it's around 30 percent. Really uh, holding us back there, Alabama, but uh, not surprising. Uh, expected. She had one uh, vaccinated patient, just needed a little oxygen, and is expected to fully recover. Some of the others are dying. I'm admitting young, healthy people to the hospital with very serious COVID infections, wrote Cobia, a hospitalist at Grandview Medical Center in Birmingham, in an emotional Facebook post Sunday. One of the last things they do before they're intubated is beg me for the vaccine. I hold their hand and I tell them that I'm sorry, but it's too late. Maybe you should get it before it's too late. I don't know if I believe this though. It is a Facebook post. Now, the reason why I don't believe it is because I just legitimately don't believe that anyone in Alabama who's never gotten a vaccine will recognize that the vaccine will save their lives in their last moment. Okay? I think they probably are like, I'm dying because of the, the China virus. The Chinese got me because I'm too Very much of a truth teller. I've enjoyed my time here, Hass. They're working. They're collaborating with the demon rats through Hunter Biden. <laughs> and then they fucking die. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't think that they're, they're dying breath before they get intubated and fucking die in a hospital alone and scared. Uh, revolves around like, maybe I can salvage the situation with a COVID vaccine. Three months, let's go. I hate my life. I work in an ED. And people actually absolutely be straight dying and still shit on the vaccine. Yeah. I, 
I don't, I don't, yeah, oh, dude, I was gonna talk about that too. There's a fucking father whose parent died in the Stoneman Douglas shooting. And the father thinks it's a false flag operation because he's so fucking QAnon obsessed. Or did his son die? Or did his son survive it? Yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit too. That's how fucking Facebook misinformation, that's how prevalent and how powerful the Facebook misinformation is. But yeah, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't believe that these psychopathic chuds Unironically, in their dying breath, have a come to Jesus moment where they're like, Yeah, maybe Jesus shouldn't hold the wheel. Maybe we should let Pfizer BioNTech hold the wheel. Maybe there's some people, though. If you're nearly dying, everything is possible. Three COVID-19 vaccines have been widely available in Alabama for months now, yet the state is the last in the nation in the vaccination rate, with only 33.7% of the population fully vaccinated. <clears throat> COVID-19 case numbers and hospitalizations are surging yet again due to the more contagious Delta variant of the virus and Alabama's low vaccination rate. The first year and a half of the pandemic, Kobe and hundreds of other Alabama physicians caring for the critically ill COVID-19 patients worked themselves to the bone trying to save as many as possible. Back in 2020 and early 2021, when the vaccine wasn't available, it was just a tragedy after tragedy. Birmingham is, has a huge medical center and has UAB, an extremely well-respected college of medicine. Unfortunately, it's Alabama, so even a large amount of people in the medical community didn't want the vaccine, including my bro. Yeah. I know. That's like the dumbest fucking thing. If you're struggling so much that you can hardly inhale, you're probably willing to ask for anything to help it. There's a reason the state motto of Mississippi is thank God for Alabama. I thought it was the other way around. I thought Alabama's uh, motto is the thank God for Mississippi. It doesn't matter. Because both of them are going to start saying thank God for Texas. Because for some weird reason, Texas is like, you know, we've been doing too well lately. Like, you know, we got a lot of people coming into the state. You know, people are, uh, our, our real estate market is like blossoming. It's, of course, uh, creating a lot of homelessness as a consequence of that. So now they're like, you know, so Texas is now also trying to be as bad as Alabama and Mississippi. It's great, dude. Medical professionals being anti-vax, isn't that a moron, oxymoron? No, it's just moronic and, uh, you know, conservatives, dude, expect it. Expect it. Yeah, I remember this story. The South Dakota nurse saying that even people dying of COVID-19 still don't believe it's real. Like a lot of these like super hyped, super hyped up uh you know stories off of facebook from like doctors and personal anecdotes and stuff are hyped for you know propaganda reasons not that there is anything wrong with like pro vaccination propaganda i am on board with that fully but uh yeah i i believe this more than the other one to be honest with you i believe people who are dying of covid19 to not recognize that they're dying of covid19 more than uh the other way around where they're like maybe i'll take the vaccine in this country. And it's partially it uh, because of great fucking like assholes great. like this. Marjorie Taylor Greene and numerous other people. But uh, let's talk about that. Let's segue into Marjorie Taylor Greene for a second. Okay? Because uh, this, is, this is not happening in a vacuum. It's happening... Where, where's the HIPAA one? I need to hey, find the HIPAA one. Oh, I, I tweeted it last night. Hold on. I'll just, I'll just throw, my, months later and I'll just throw open my tweet here real quick. Thanks to you. Keep up the good work, my dude. Oh, here it is. Tell me you've been vaccinated. Let's go. Without telling me you've been vaccinated. Here in the viral CBS News. Uh, Whip Scalise said today he got vaccinated, citing this Delta variant that's going around, and said he's confident that it's safe and effective. 
two questions. Have you yourself gotten vaccinated, and do you disagree with the Republican whip? Well, your, your first question is a violation of my HIPAA rights. You see, with HIPAA rights, uh, we don't have to reveal our medical records, and that also involves our vaccine records. It's really awesome. First of all, I know people say that's not how HIPAA rights works. Yes, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like she's, a, it is a private thing and she doesn't have to reveal it. Okay. She doesn't have to reveal it, except she has been vaccinated and she doesn't want to say that's it. Okay. Cause every congressperson got vaccinated. Every single congressperson got vaccinated. You disagree with the Republican whip. Well, your, your first question is a violation of my HIPAA rights. Also, the irony of Marjorie Taylor Greene, as Pog, aka Marjorie Titan Green. You will never unsee it. She does look like an attack on uh, Titan Titan. Okay, but the irony of this fucking psycho saying, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, maybe don't take the vaccine," while she's fucking cycling Anavar, Anavar, and and Clenbuterol, and all manner of different, like, uh, you know. HGH and all manner of different steroids is not lost on me. Okay? Like, you are literally fucking doing D-ball and, and then simultaneously being like, ah, I don't know. If you've ever cycled steroids, do not worry about what's Hi. in the fucking vaccine, dude. Well by any chance, do Which, you have she captions? doesn't. Thank you, have a great day. She does not. You see, with HIPAA rights, uh, we don't have to reveal our medical records, and that also... I am always shocked, though, at, like, how little Marjorie Taylor Greene knows. Like, it's so... It's so strange. Like, you're fucking... You're a congressperson, dude. Is violating my HIPAA how do you not understand, like, basic laws? Why do you think she does Clint and Anavar? She's not even that big? Clint doesn't make you big. He just makes you shredded. She's not even that shredded. I'm just throwing up steroid names. It's just so strange, man. It's just so fucking strange. Literally watches Alex Jones videos from 2008 and regurgitates the libertarian rhetoric. Here's some more Marjorie Taylor Greene. Why is this so quiet? People in Georgia say, you know, there are children. What the fuck is going on today with my videos? Why are they so fucking quiet? Skinny people who have died of the coronavirus. Do you feel any responsibility? <laughs> Tia, you me Georgia? up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hold on. You know, there are children, skinny people who have died of the coronavirus. Do you feel any responsibility? <laughs> Yeah, you me up. Um, you know what? I I'm sorry, dude, but this is come on. Come on, dude. Really? I mean, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm so right, dude. I am the most right about this. I, this is like. Someone, someone sent me the fucking image of like this side by side. And I'll tweet it out. But you already have it. Not loading. Oh, here, I'll save it. All right, I tweeted it. 
Yes, I am 100% body shaming Marjorie Taylor Greene. I am 100% body shaming Marjorie Taylor Greene. I know you don't usually read these, but I've dude, been your chat really that shit about Marjorie Taylor up and just stream before you lol hostile. Recently. What? No, I've Thank I've made this joke many sad. times, and I am like fully, 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 uh, uh, just you know, invested in this narrative. Actually, the truth. Here's another Marjorie Taylor Green from another one of your clips or another one of your streams. Green is a bigger delta than you, bro, and maybe a smaller head. Okay, don't do the fucking phrenology shit. Where? I like gun. I like. What? Why, dude? I. Every time you guys send me an old clip from this stream, it's just not. It's never good. I. I. I there's like, it's just consistently never good. Oh, this has 1 million views. I don't think you're a pedophile one. Yeah. This entire interview that she gave was insane. Absolutely insane. Oh, here. We, this is what we were... Another, another fucking fire take from uh, the Titan herself. Let's hear what she would do if she was this in charge of the CCP. If I was in charge, if she was in charge, what she would do this. If I was in charge and I had my way, I would come down on China so hard. I would put tariffs back in place and they would be more strict than President Trump's because those tariffs work. I would kick out every single Chinese in this country that is loyal to the CCP. What? Bro, what the fuck? Yo, she's crazy, dude. Yo, she's literally like, you know what the worst part about this is? Americans are so reactionary against fucking China that they literally, if this got more viral and people were like, this is like, she's advocating for internment camps and like, you know, uh, mass immigration, mass like forced migration of Chinese people. They'd be like, oh, she meant loyal to the CCP, brother. And a bunch of liberals would probably also fucking uh, not disagree with her either. Like, the discourse around China is so fucking psychotic in this country, it sucks. And those would are, be if, you, if you signed one, if, if, if you sign one of those documents that says that yes, you're, you're, you've you're got gone. a report. Back to China. I don't care how much money you have, how much land you own, how many businesses you own. How much money you've donated to colleges and universities? I don't care about who your kid is and how many how many students you've sent. So to Jack Ma, all these guys, all these people that if are they part of the are science, loyal to the, the CCP, CCP. They go back. They go back. In thirty seconds, you also got Wall Street. Would you cut off? Would you immediately make sure that you could not fund these? You could not raise money. You couldn't go to the capital markets. You couldn't lend money. We should not be funding CCP companies. We should not. We should not be, we should stop doing business with an enemy that is trying to kill us and did kill us. I mean, this is what happens when you let a fucking racist ass, real estate developer ass, CrossFit mom become a congressperson. Like, what were we expecting? America's so fucking stupid. And this is the exact kind of idiot that represents the people perfectly. This is a more adequate representation of the Republican Party. A... Uh, a, a, a incredibly profoundly wealthy real estate developer who is completely batshit fucking crazy and mega racist. This is a significantly better representation of the Republican Party than like any number of those dumbass op-ed writers that you uh, see on MSNBC and uh, CNN and the New York Times and like all these other like liberal outlets that try to normalize the Republican no Party. That's what it is. Work. This is what the Republican China Party is. Not care. All okay. tariffs do is hurt U.S. consumers. This is how they operate. This is what they believe. And it is not even remotely surprising. Okay. Loving the temple. It's amazing how you can manage to be a misogynist and ableist every time you talk about Marjorie Taylor Greene. I'm truly disappointed. Good bait, brother. Good bait. You did it. Okay. You did it. You fucking did it. You got me. You baited me. Okay. 
You you got your rocks off, I hope. These people are so dumb. China is the manufacturing hub of the world. The U.S. would shit itself if China would ever restrict their products from going to the United States. Yeah. Yeah, where, how are you going to, you think we have a problem right now with uh, microchips and shit? Guess what, dude? That's literally all of them are made in China and Taiwan. That's it. Oh, here's the uh, original Reddit post of the father of, oh, this is, oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. This person survived the Stoneman Douglas school shooting and their dad is a, their dad literally thinks that the Stoneman Douglas shooting was a false flag. PSYOP. I think my dad's gone fucking insane. He's going to be way too far out of the trouble processing the last five months. He's always been very conservative, but now QAnon has consumed his life to the point where it's tearing our family apart along with my mental health. Back in January, we saw the video of Marjorie Taylor Greene harassing David Hogg, another student, about the shooting being a false flag operation. And while my dad was already into Q, he'd never gone down that particular rabbit hole. And now he's convinced everything was a hoax and it breaks my fucking heart. He's done extensive research on body language and claims he could tell Nicholas Cruz is a Sash. radical commie actor who was paid to sacrifice his life in order to remove our guns. He's questioning why they released the interrogation footage if not to further deceive the sheep believing everything they see. He also says the trial will be rigged and the reason they're, taking, they're talking about the death penalty is to prevent them from ever talking about. just in case. What's really fucked is that he knows I never want to hear about him or see his face ever again. I've been very clear on that, and I always leave the room, and he starts talking about him. I keep telling him to please, please fucking stop it. There's no reaction or empathy whatsoever. Even burgundy-colored T-shirts make me uncomfortable. He used to be so understanding. He stopped wearing it around me. That person is completely gone, and I miss him so fucking much. You're a real piece of work to be able to sit here and act like nothing ever happened if it wasn't a hoax. Shame on you for being a part of it and putting your family through it, too. He'll say stuff like that straight to my face, Whenever he's drinking, and I wonder if he'd still say it if he knew what it does to me. It's bringing back so much of my survivor's guilt, and I fucking hate him for it. I worked on it. Jesus Christ, that's so sad. I worked on it for so long, and now I once again feel like the biggest piece of shit for being able to have good days when there are parents still grieving. That's what QAnon does to a motherfucker, dude. Yo, people... I mean, this makes sense, though. And here's why. This is exactly, uh, this is something we've seen in cults over and over again. It's a pattern that repeats itself with people that like subscribe to a cult and the way that that cult operates. Oftentimes when they're met with the reality that the uh, doomsday cults, for example, famously predict like incorrectly when the doomsday is going to happen. A lot of people do end up leaving the cult, but the ones that stay behind actually double down on their conviction. It's, it's basically a way to, it's a way to cope with how devastating reality is for that person where he's like, all right, well, even this, even something that I and my family, my loved ones have been a, a, a part of, even that is actually fake and it's staged and QAnon is actually right. How do you help them? I think there is no, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think there's any way to help that person. I, I don't know. And if there is one, I don't know. Okay. Wait, what? Ashton Kutcher's take on CIA, the guy from Dude, Where's My Car is now a yeah, China expert. They can only use. Yeah, if you want to hear fucking takes on, uh, you know, sex work or China, I, I always go to Ashton Kutcher technology in public places in the house so if they want to be on their ipad doing a learning game or whatever that might be it's only in the living room they don't get to take technology into their bedrooms mm -hmm. uh, or into any private space in the house um oh you don't think marjorie taylor green is vaccinated this is two months old but she says but it says 44.8 percent of house republicans were vaccinated at the time wait really i thought they all got vaccinated that's so strange My, and then and then the question of whether or not they're going to go on social media i'll cross that bridge when i get there my guess is social media is going to be very different uh by that point in time. How, do, how, do, how do you think it'll be different well i look at tiktok right now um which is probably the fastest growing 
social media platform. Um, and, uh, and I, I currently, I see a, a massive regulatory battle on the horizon for a company like TikTok um, that is powered by ByteDance, which is one of the most powerful. Oh my God, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. This shit is so annoying. It's just like impossible to fucking, it's just impossible to watch AI Twitter videos. In the world in China. Yeah. Um, and I think about if I'm China and I wanna create a problem in uh in uh in that area of the world uh specifically a naval problem in that area of the world um i in the south china sea what? i would probably want to utilize tiktok in order to influence the minds of americans in a anti-us propaganda anti-taiwanese propaganda uh effort uh in order to make any kind of war from the united states extraordinarily unpopular in order to defend the south the, the south yeah, China yeah, yeah there's all sorts of ways they can manipulate our media and our, what our people think that's right and and i think that most people um believe that there is uh media manipulation happening and misinformation campaigns happening just not through their sources mm -hmm. and and i think that that's wrong and i think we're about to face a reckoning in that particular domain um, that is going to probably change what social media looks like in the future because it's in my sense as an as a fervent American is that it's they can only Ashton Kutcher runs a software where people use computer software and coding to find sex trafficking victims thoughts Ashton Kutcher has done some good work uh, with uh, combating sex trafficking. But for the most part, as this is the case with like most uh, anti-sex trafficking operations, it's clouded completely by anti-sex work biases that literally end up, uh, that literally end up just targeting fucking uh, uh, just consensual adult sex workers. And for those of you who don't know, this is usually how it works. It's just, Yeah, I mean, this is people are gonna throw up question marks all day, every day, which because it's just because like you probably never heard about this, or sex workers don't actually get a lot of uh, um, coverage on issues like this. But it is the truth. A lot of the anti-sex work or an anti-sex, <coughs> a lot of the anti-sex slavery legislation yep. is written in a way that purposefully is designed to target consenting adult sex workers, okay? Sesta Fosta is the perfect example of this. Like eliminating, for example, websites that sex workers that are adults and consenting, okay, that are doing it on their own, uh, from being able to utilize resources that help them share information with one another, like, uh, you know, warning people that this is a client that you shouldn't take on because they're abusive or something like that. Okay? Under the guise of saving us from human traffic, we're constantly taking off platforms and silence to have our sites taken down. Yeah. Just sending out a morning shout out to the men and women of the intelligence community that keep us safe and protect our country. Miskiff viewer here, is this what usually goes on here? Yes, Miskiff viewer. He's a bit of a... He's a, he's a bit of a fed. I mean, he is a fed. 
Partnering up with another sex worker for protection allows them to be prosecuted as both trafficking each other and charged as traffickers instead of sex workers. Speaking of more text being insane, what's your take on how this affects sex workers? <sighs> As a non-American, I lose my shit when Americans uh, complain about other countries doing propaganda. Like, bro, every country in the world goes to McDonald's and wants an iPhone. Yeah, America is concerned about other countries doing America. That's it. Most Americans are worried about other countries doing America. Okay. Consensual if it allows male That's pretty much what this is. To profit off Miskid the viewers confused during the content. Miskid doesn't copy you. Yeah, for the Miskids, like, this is the stuff that Miskid does not copy. Do you see? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, he's not gonna do that. He's not gonna like uh, cover the news and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is this is what we do for the first like half of the show. Okay. Um, ben and Jerry's has now decided they know more about Jerusalem than the Israelis. If Ben and Jerry's wants to have a meltdown and boycott Israel, Oklahoma is ready to respond. Oklahoma has an anti-boycott of Israel law in place. We should immediately block the sale of all Ben and Jerry's in the state and in any state-operated facility to align with our law. Same senator says, Biden thinks free speech is dangerous. Oklahomans don't need the Biden thought police telling us how to think and feel. There is nothing more patriotic to me and to all my fellow Americans, then restricting the God-given freedom of speech laws, okay? The God-given liberties of freedom of speech, the, the most important, the most important constitutionally protected right that we have, restricting that at the behest of a foreign nation. Yee, yee, folks. Nothing says I love America and I love free speech like basically limiting free speech, like civil protest against uh, the actions that a foreign state takes, abandon those protesters at the behest of said state. Yee yee. Two months, baby. We can understand information without their help. I'm more concerned with DC controlling speech than I am with people passing wrong information. Let people speak, he says. I love that. He's like, he's like, we need to, we need to boycott. Like Oklahoma, Texas, like all these fucking right wing states all have some of the most restrictive anti BDS laws. For those of you who don't know, BDS is uh, a movement that's tailored around uh, the original BDS movement against apartheid South Africa, against the state of Israel, which is an apartheid state. Uh, which dictates that uh, certain people, uh, in an effort to do consumer side activism, want to boycott, divest, and put uh, sanctions on the state of Israel until they uh, are no longer a settler colonial apartheid state. And uh, in easier terms, I'll just describe it as such uh, murder Palestinians regularly and steal their homes and their land. So that's what BDS is about. But in a lot of southern states where they love free speech, which is the God-given right to say the N-word as a white man, uh, they have some of the most restrictive anti-free speech laws that are, dan that are just straight up unconstitutional, like uh, demanding that uh, public school teachers in the state of Texas have to sign a piece of paper that says that they will never and have never protested against the state of Israel. How fucking insane is that? What an absolutely insane piece of legislation. In the most, in the most like free place on earth, brother. Because free speech does not exist. It's not real. Okay. This guy. Loves invoking freedom of speech arguments when it comes to, like, dangerous misinformation that ends up killing people. But he hates it when it's, like, protesting a violent, settler, colonial, Ye apartheid brother. state. How great is that? It's almost as great as Oklahoma's, uh, 
uh, Oklahoma's uh, neighbor, Texas, banning the mention or uh, barring teachers from talking about how the KKK was morally wrong. That's a real thing that happened. That's a real thing that happened this week, folks. Can you believe it? Yes. In the state of Texas, I mean, this hasn't passed through uh, both the House and Senate in the state because the Texan uh, Democrats have escaped the state like to say exclusively state so red, but we have the uh, they can't reach quorum the and pass legislation. State. They are trying to do Texas, but they cannot seem to even do racism right. But um, Texas no longer requires teachers to say that the KKK was morally wrong. Like, they're like, you can't, you don't have to say it. You don't want to say it. You got hate. Texas basically was like, you got hate in your heart, let it out. You got hate in your heart, let it out. You got a top of the hour ad break coming, let it out. Let it out. 60 second ad break coming for you. Okay. That's right. 60 second ad break coming for you, folks. Now, of course, if you no longer want to see said ad break, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do it for $5 or you can do it for free with a Twitch Prime. Or you can use an ad block or a VPN. Here's the ad break now. Nothing fucking triggers me more than like every Canadian losing their absolute ever loving fucking shit when like one instance of police brutality happens in some fucking part of Canada and literally every single one Canadian, I don't know if you guys have like one big discord server and chat hassle has. where you get together and you're like spamming it all fucking day long. You're like, dude, police brutality is happening in Canada. Please look at it. It's like, dude, you guys have all okay. been sending this to me. It's got 600 fucking retweets, dude. Like, it's, a, it's, it's psychotic, okay? I'm just letting you know. I already have it lined up, Three months, but it unironically is just like, it, it's not that significant, okay? I'm just letting you know. I know that, like, for you, it's the entire world, okay? It's the entire fucking world. But, like, this shit happened in Echo Park last month. Okay? Please. Please just fucking relentlessly spamming it. Yo. God damn, dude. So police brutality isn't bad when it happens to Canadians. Got it, Chief? No. It's insignificant in comparison to me talking about some other shit right now. Okay? Any primus and it fucking frustrates me. Off, now you're whenever people are like, the dude, the, oh my god, dude, Toronto cops, they're so bad. I can't believe uh, there's a police brutality. You have to cover this. Like, it's a big deal for you. Okay? Just chill the fuck out. Here. Started to set up. Toronto police move in and began arresting those inside the homeless encampment of Lambert Stadium. Just outside these barricades set up. Like, I hate to say this, but this looks like a fucking tickle party in comparison to, like, what happened last week Five outside months, of the Wii spot. My only mistake okay? is not coming sooner. I mean, Thanks yeah, obviously, like, ACAP, but I don't care. see a single fucking Asshole. grenade launcher. Where are the shotguns? We watched a woman Asshole. defending Asshole. a fucking LGBT-friendly spa get shot point blank in the fucking chest by a beanbag shotgun. 
And this is precisely why I'm like, okay, here, I give this police brutality a 7 out of 10. Okay? Look, they're de-escalating, which is insane to me, and then they re-escalate. Where are the guns? Where? What is going on? What are you fucking arresting for? What are you fucking arresting for? Brad, take us on? Yeah, I know. There you go, dude. You, you asked me to cover it. I'm covering it. This is unacceptable. Of course, police officers are fucking trained to behave like absolute goddamn hogs, and Canada is no different. But as, as someone who fucking... As someone who routinely covers police brutality in America, if you're literally constantly fucking begging me to cover, like, this story or what's going on here, like, I'm gonna tell you that in America, when this happens... It's newsworthy because they're like, wow, look at how well they dealt with this crowd of people. Okay? When this happens in America, it often doesn't make the news. Because, you know, this is just every altercation. But if it would make the news, it would make the news because they're like, wow, this is, you know, a remarkable demonstration where uh, officers were met with a bunch of people who uh, were denying them their right to trample all over them. And, uh... They showed incredible restraint. Why don't we celebrate these officers? That is what this would be about. The news story in America would be that the officer shows incredible, incredible restraint. Like, these guys are wearing bike helmets and whooping ass in fucking cargo shorts, dude. Where is the tank? How are they not like rolling over everyone with a tank? Water spray that smells bad. I guess that's Israel. Restraint is when you could get away with it and still don't do it. Imagine being mad that people won't say your cops are as bad as you as cops. I did not see a single fucking tear gas canister. I did not see anyone pull out a shotgun and just shoot a protester literally in the chest. If there was one American cop there, at least they would like try to use their bike to beat the shit out of people. Like I could see an American cop like literally pick up a bike and like start wailing on motherfuckers with a bike or something. They're like, well, what do you mean? We're supposed to kill them, right? As we were, they're homeless. Yeah, I, I know I originally said 7 out of 10, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lower it to a 5 out of 10, actually, at best. Are you happy, Canada? I covered your police brutality. Tories made budgets so low hogs can't afford it, lol. I'm sure Canadians are going to be so fucking mad at me now because of that. They're going to be like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? This is the most... Like, my backyard, dude. They all have gloves Just on last here. week. In my fucking backyard, last weekend, we saw what happened at the Korean spa. I'm sorry. So when you send it to me and you're like, dude, you have to look at this. I'm like, okay, there you go. I looked at it. Canada has the U.S. beat on mass graves of indigenous kids. No. The difference between Canada and the United States is, and Canada is horrible, horrible towards fucking indig their indigenous population. But... You can't even remotely compare that to what we've done here. Are you out of your mind? No, our genocide was successful. That's the difference. That's it. That's the only difference. Your genocide or uh, your 
mass displacement and uh, and and uh, ethnic cleansing continued well into the 90s. Okay, within your uh, you know your your cultural genocide, whatever you want to call it, within your residential school system. Thank God for those uh, nice little Catholic schools, by the way, to like cleanse the uh, indigenous uh, concepts out of the mind of these uh, children that were basically fucking kidnapped. Uh, except, you know, we had that too here in America. It just doesn't get uh, discussed as much. Yeah, last residential school in Canada closed around uh, 1994. Not 1993, it's 1994 if I'm not... Uh, I think it's 1994. Anyway, but, uh, you know, we don't really either talk about it or we've already finished with the uh, cleansing part of the ethnic cleansing. Oh, 1996. Yeah. Canada is also horrible with their, uh, their Mounties. Like they use their militarized force against, uh, reservations and indigenous populations regularly as well. I know, I understand. Amazon, you have like the worst take on Canadian issues. I mean, Canada engages in like mass sterilization campaigns. Our genocide work, me as a Native American, so he see me or... Okay, if you're Native American, then do you not recognize that what America did was like, uh, basically... I mean, not basically, it was just genocide. What the fuck? How can a Native American person in my chat turn around and be like, uh, uh, I'm here. Like, what do you mean? American, what are you defending, uh, the United States of America and saying that it wasn't genocide? Yeah, dude. I mean, Jews exist. So what are you, are you like unironically making a, a fucking, are you, are you making the Nazi argument that like the Holocaust wasn't real or something? Like what the fuck? Happy eight months, BB. Armenians exist. What do you mean? It's so dumb, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We must seize the means of pro production. Stop it, Vlad. You know the rule. No communism in the household, dude. Vlad. Ay, ay, ay. Dude, what the fuck's going on? My which bandwidth right now is just like going up and down like crazy. Anyway. Yeah, this is a, a real YouTube ad, folks. A real, real YouTube ad. If you want to regulate a YouTube ad. We must seize the means of production. Stop it, Vlad. You know the rule. If you want to regulate something, go regulate the mess in your room. Yeah, communism is regulation. It seems a big part about being a mom these days is helping your kids unlearn the crazy ideas they're exposed to in the world. Mom, I just found out that if I run into the TV fast enough, I'll become a cartoon. Nope, that right will kill stuff. you. <laughs> and it's not just letters. normal kid stuff either. Checks. Now, my kids are being told by the media and even the school system that socialism is great. Mama, if we just get rid of all these successful people, we'll finally be happy. No, honey, that just means we'll all be poor. Here's the funniest part, okay? Actually, let me just finish this and I'll get to it. I want to teach my kids right, but it is so hard to find age-appropriate material to teach them about the principles of freedom. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Okay, you want to know what's funny about this? Like, obviously, no fucking 12-year-old is reading, uh, you know, the Communist Manifesto or anything like that. That's really dumb. The real problem is that, yes, most children's books promote positive values like sharing like being kind to one another and those values unfortunately are in direct opposition with free market capitalist I idealism Abby. okay and that is precisely why this psycho is fucking bent okay 
not only does she not understand what communism is, taxes, communism, regulation, communism, idiot. But she's actually mad that like children's books are promoting values like sharing is caring. Be kind to your neighbor or the Bible, for example, also promoting similar values, at least in energy. That would ultimately be considered. You know, close to the uh, ultimate goals of socialism. So that's precisely what this is. The, the anger is basically stemming around like all of our children's books are teaching kids to be socialists. We need to teach them that free market capitalism and individualism is actually the right way. The blocks are the supply, and when people want them, that's demand. Is that what dad meant when he said you Yeah, exactly, which is why, much like a Jenga uh, toy, uh, capitalism falls apart regularly every like four to eight year cycles where this entire thing is just crushed by one tiny little sliver being pulled out. Too demanding. Wait, what did she say? When he said you're too demanding. Luckily, I now have the Tuttle Twins to help us. The Tuttle Twins is a series of books written for freedom-loving parents that teach correct principles about free markets in clear and relatable stories. You know, clear and relatable, so opposite of socialists. But isn't, the, isn't socialism in the world that you just constructed winning in the marketplace of ideas? And that's why you're trying to fucking push this other thing? Also, the Tuttle Twins, like... It just look a little off, okay? This graphic looks a little off. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know why they chose this graphic to go with. With over 2 million copies sold, these- Her eyes are very far up apart from one another. These books are the best way to teach your child real-world topics not covered by most school curriculum. Mom, I demand cookies. There's no more supply. Oh. Why would you want your kid to be a fucking asshole, dude? Aw. My child learned about supply and demand. Um, I demand cookies. There's no more supply. Oh. So if you have offspring and don't want them supporting socialism, then click the link and order the Tuttle Twins books today. Dude, this is, this is awesome. I mean, dude, this is actually child abuse, okay? This is literally child abuse. You fucking read this shit to your children People forcibly, you're doing child spring. abuse, okay? This is satire, right? I hope so. Wait, is it actually satire? Let's look, TuttleTwins.com. Bro, I don't think it's satire, dude. Nope, it's not satire. This is me. I'm the author. Wearing a Libertarian Institute shirt, dude. Nope, it's not satire. It's very real. You're like me. You're worried about the new normal society is trying to cram down our throats. In the wake of COVID-19, the government has asserted its power, printed a ton of new money, and restricted our rights. <coughs> yeah, dude. Our kids have had to adjust too, and many of us struggle to know how to help them and understand what's happening in the real world. Okay, we gotta watch hey, this. Hey parents, kids like us have a problem, and it's one that you can help solve. Yeah, literally. That's your your father is using you and abusing you for content. And also your dad is a libertarian. Poor kids never got you do have a problem, to kids. Alert to until communism Get out. Hold of their minds. You're screwed. But most yeah. parents aren't even aware the problem exists. Here's the issue. Most schools today aren't teaching young kids some really important concepts, like how the economy works or what our rights are or the definition of true laws. Back before you were born, schools often taught the principles of a free society. But not anymore. That's why our parents have us read The, the Tuttle Twins. Twins. 
These books teach children about economic and civic truths that we need to learn, and there's nothing else like them in the world. Each book covers a different topic, helping us learn how the world really works. For example, these books teach kids things like how the free market is the key to prosperity, the history of the money we use, what our rights are, and why we should protect them. How kids can be entrepreneurs. I definitely want to be my own boss someday, and these books will help. Kids like us absolutely love these books. Maybe because they don't treat us like little children. Instead, they help us learn important ideas and develop critical thinking skills. Chances are your kids are missing out on learning these things, especially in a way that's fun and enjoyable for the whole、okay. family. And even better, when you buy this set, you also get the awesome activity workbooks for free. Now listen, there are a lot of crazy ideas out there, and you need to prepare your kids. Yeah, if you want to raise a free thinker, you're gonna need something that teaches about freedom. So, so purchase, purchase your books, books now. now. But be careful, your kids will learn ideas that many adults don't even understand. That's awesome. Ace Family updated video. I'm tired of getting scammed by Drew Gooden. We'll look at that in a little bit. Yes, critical thinking skills that won't lead you to question the fundamentals of capitalism. It makes for some really interesting dinner conversations. Here is Chick Fil A gave out to give a mouse a cookie book. Every time I see YouTube book, Family、uh, blogger content, it just is just basically like a like a prelude or a, a, a prologue. Wait, wait, what's the word? Oh my god. Yeah, it's correct. Both are correct. I don't know why I said that. Either or, either works. I don't know why I had a problem with that for a second. My brain is just like so bad. Go, love you, Hassan. But、Hassan. it's just basically the before for a JCS episode. Okay, that's it. Like, there's no shot these kids grow up to be normal, dude. That's so sad. Those kids are cute, but I bet yours are cuter. And imagine how much they'll enjoy the books. So what are you waiting for? Click the link and grab your set. The、uh, the irony is that speaking of Jace, did you comment on Aiden moving in on Jace is watching? Yes, he's washed, bro. Aiden lost, dude. He's moving on to fucking React Andy shit because you know he's trying to keep it fucking alive. He's trying to keep it going, which is fine. All good. I can help him out with some content. He's washed, bro. The hood watches Hasanabi now. Wait, that's a Confederate. No, that's not a Confederate flag. That's not like a finger painting of a Confederate flag, is it? No. A tweet from the author of these books. Reminder: Is your freedom more important than our safety? Yes, I love that. Great guy. Great guy. I love that this is real.、Yeah. I, I love that this is、uh, not fake. It's actually real. And、uh, I mean, they're just basically trying to do what people have done so many times, which is instill、uh, the cult of capitalism within kids when they're young and susceptible, Yo, been months and easily、team. persuadable. And that's all this is. So you can't knock the grift, boys. I don't know why you guys are trying to. I don't know why you guys are shitting on him. He's just a free market capitalist who's、yeah. doing what's right, folks. He's doing what's right. Anyway, today we're gonna move on early into. We already saw the fucking Jeff Bezos、uh, video yesterday. We I, I already talked about it. You're gonna move on early into React stuff. Let's go into family vloggers again.
Speaking of family vloggers, dude. Wait, they have an animated show? Okay, fuck me. I gotta watch this what now. What you're about to watch is an animated show that teaches kids to stand up for freedom. Hollywood Absolutely. will never make this, so we're crowdfunding it without them. Here's an early look at the first episode. It's an animatic, which just means it's a bunch of animated storyboards. No final music, no final voices, but just enough to give you an the idea of the story. To be full of these Enjoy. Books. Emily, remind me why we're on this death trap again? You know I have a weakness for science, Ethan! And I have a weakness for not dying! I don't think we're gonna make it! <laughs> Join Fem Steph and ex Mira Mira as they sit down with Dr. Fauci. Why does Twitch never reach out to me for doing stuff like this? I mean, I know why, but... Like, I would do this. Like, I, I would fucking talk to Dr. Fauci. What the fuck? Pepe, uh, come on, dude. Yeah, I mean... To be fair, it would be kind of... It, it would be boring content to begin with. I mean, I would make it not boring, but... This is actually afraid of phobia, dude. This is. It's afraid of phobia from Twitch. I'll, I'll just, I'll keep it 100. You guys don't want one Italian man to talk to another Italian man. That's literally what it is. Yeah, here's a question. Okay, Dr. Fauci, maybe you can answer this. Why is Twitch so afraid of phobic? Why do they not want daddy to talk to fucking Dr. Fauci? What the fuck? I'm wearing a fucking butta pink shirt right now. 13 months. Are you fucking been. kidding me? I'm right over here. I'm down to fucking talk to him. All right. I'll just. They need harmless libs in these. They're not even putting rad libs in. Don't say his name, Hassan. You posted a Osama Bin Laden meme the other day. Maybe that's why. Wait, did I? Here's the seventh part of the deep dive series following the Free Britney movement and Britney's conservative ship. I'm not going to... Jin Sui. Jin Sui, stop. You've literally been... Po Dude, stop. Dial it back, okay? Just take like two or three days off from sending links, okay? You just watch the broadcast without sending links. I'm gonna be honest with you, your your links have been so bad consistently for the past like three weeks, dude. I watched, I watched like one or two of your, I watched one or two of your uh, fucking like TikTok drama things and you've just been going buck wild in the chat, dude. I love you, but you gotta fucking, you know, just, just take a break until you get like a really good one, okay? Fifteen months. It's okay. Not all of our links are gonna be fucking popping off. <laughs> not all of our links are gonna pop the fuck off. Okay, some of them are not gonna be winners. I know it probably feels good. You get a fucking you get a rush of hormones. Okay, the moment that streamer clicks on your link, but it's quality, not quantity, that matters. You know, Thamasius comes in here with a playlist. I click on it every fucking day. You know why? Because he's like, yeah, these are some good-ass videos. Here. Here you go. Boom. Because I know. Anyway. Okay. Yes, I did see the uh, Candace Owens tweet uh, based. And, uh, oh, yeah, God, I got to stop saying based. I hate it when people say based. So fucking nerdy and lame. Um, 
The COVID vaccine saves lives, which is why the government is making it free. Okay, so explain to me why insulin and asthma inhalers cost so much money. So close. It's so fucking far away. This dumbass, dude. If the vaccines are really about the government trying to save your life, why do life-saving medicines cost so much? Like, how, what a fucking idiotic take. There's no way she's this stupid. I just refuse to believe that someone who is, like, aware enough, okay, someone who is aware enough to be, like, uh, this, this cartoon of a person. Based. Is, like, she's, she's operating as a character. This is a grift. Like, there's no way. I think conservatives win when they say dumb I shit. Said. Well, I mean, it's all they say, but like, even when they think they're making a good argument, not this one, like when they're, when they think they have a good gotcha, they win. When they think they, when they know that their argument is dumb as fuck and it makes them look like idiots, they still win. And I think that's what it is. I think that's precisely what it is. It's just like, they know that even if they come across as idiots, they're still going to win. Ultimately. The dog shit conservative cartoon sucks. Whoops, 11 hours earlier. Lemonade, get your lemonade. Just 96 calories per serving. Sugar. Just 1,096 calories per... Wait, I'm confused. Why is this a bad take? Because one, insulin... And life-saving medications like asthma inhalers should be fucking free. Okay? They should be free, just like the vaccine is. Do you understand? That's what's frustrating about this tweet. Is that, like, the people that she considers to be communists who fucking suck, who are bad, who are ops, who are villains, are advocating for precisely that, to make those life-saving medications uh, free. So that's number one. And two, the reason why vaccines are free is because it's to spread the contagion, okay? It's to stop the spread of a deadly fucking disease that is ruining really this country. And also, from a capitalist point of view, ruining the economy. It's so dumb. Bro, I thought you were cheesy. H3 changed my mind. Really? Are you going to help translate, uh, ex what, ex you saying to Ethan? No, I'm not going to do that. Unless, unless he wants me to. Probably better if, like, no one else is involved in that, though. If it's just XQC and Ethan, uh, alone. Because I feel like if me or Misgive were there, I feel like we would, like, uh, soften the blow a little bit. No matter what happens. Because we like Felix as a person. You know what I mean? So, like, I'll watch it. I'll definitely watch it. We'll do a watch party, but I'm not gonna... I don't want to interfere. Unless he, like, wants me to uh, get in. But even then, I don't know if I should do it. Hold on. Let me, uh... Burp, burp. Let me do something real quick. Hi, guy. Hold on. Chat, you look cute today. <sighs> Sam Cedar's talking in Pavilion. It might be interesting to look at clips. Yeah, that could be interesting. Um, 
Hold on. One second. I'm just doing some... Uh, I look submissive and breedable. There's a lot going on in the background. All right. I'm not going to watch this, dude. I don't want to watch this because it's so fucking dog shit. Okay? We're just going to go into the... The house thing, I'm or not house thing, the, the family pissed. blogger thing. I have been thing. trying then, to make this video for like four months brain. now, Sometimes and today I am hassle. finally giving up. Let me explain. So it all started in February. The Ace family, boys. We're back on uh, fucking family uh, vloggers, okay? West sub When the Twitter streets were buzzing about a new Ace family potential scam. The How I Became a Millionaire program for the low, low price of just $50 a month. And I could Ask. not wait to throw my money away on this. When this kind of stuff happens, I don't see a scam. I just see content. Daddy made you your favorite open wide. Now, contrary to popular belief, I don't hate the Ace family. True. One might assume that because of the scathing video I made about them, but I don't have any beef with, like, their one-year-old son. The kids haven't done anything. No, fuck that, dude. Bad. It's just this guy I can't stand. Anytime something goes wrong with Mr. and Mrs. Ace, it seems like he is at the forefront of it. Here he is in the introductory video, following all the standard steps involved when promoting a social media course. Number one, make us feel bad about ourselves and then dangle in front of us the possibility of all our dreams coming true. Saw sight, even with the baby. It's like, yo, what's up, baby? Let's go. You won't 1v1 me, dude? I was living here about five years ago with Catherine, and at the time I was going through depression. Now this is my home, my dream home, through the power of social media. Yep, I used to live in a dinky, stinky small house like you, but now I have a big, stupid mansion with just one easy trick. Doctors hate. Number two, toss out some vague buzzwords that show off the valuable information you can only learn here. In this program, I'll be teaching four courses. The first course is how to grow your social media platforms. Well, let me just, I mean. The second course is how to make money from social media. But that's... The third course is how to start a business. And you could. And the last course is how to grow your business. Okay, yes, technically you could just Google all of that for free, but I'd rather hear it from Austin. And finally, end on a little hassle, cliffhanger hassle, 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 that makes us hassle. yearn to be a part of that exclusive club. I don't know what else to say. I guess the next time I'll see you guys, we'll be inside the program. Wait, come back. Wait, he's, he's sharking a program? Dude, what's up with YouTubers, man? YouTubers love shilling programs, dude. Lai Lopez? Exactly. I want to be in the program. Is it inside your house? Can I come in? So needless to say, I was pumped. Credit card at the ready, Amex on speed dial for when they inevitably the assume this was a fraud. Knowledge! Fraudulent charge. I was even going to buy the silver and gold memberships just so I could compare the two. Because yes, with the silver, you do get the basic curriculum and 48 videos a year, one every week. No, that's right. But then you'd be missing out on all the exclusive extras, like bring in other celebrities to hear from, or go on live with everyone. With everyone? I'm picturing a Zoom call with like 700 people all talking over each other. They'll even pick a few people for weekly FaceTime calls. Yeah, I'm sure they kept up with that. Pick a few people to promote. I like how not specific that is. Is it on your YouTube channel, your Facebook? Are you gonna write my username on your arm like one of those hot tub streamers? Pick a few people to hey. verify, ooh. I'm sure they're not gonna like email Twitter and have them give you a blue check mark on there. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna verify my HIBM profile. So everyone knows that I'm the official ace lover for life. What I really love about those last three is that none of them are even guaranteed, but they're still listing them as benefits. That would be like if I said, hey fans, if you mail me a check for $100, I might have lunch with you. I have no obligation to do it because I didn't actually promise that I would, but you should still send me that money just in case. So now you can see why. For the record, Logan Paul, or not Logan Paul, Jake Paul did this. I guess maybe Logan did it too. I wouldn't be surprised if he also uh, participated in this, but like this was basically like last year's uh, scam. I'm surprised. Like Lai Lopez is the number one. Like, he is the main guy who did this for years and years and years. And that was the meta. The meta was like, uh, here's a workshop for you if you want to make like, if you want to make like $500 extra. Like, that's, you know, that was the, that was the take.
the scam meta. And basically, that's they just like repurpose it. Why are scams so prevalent on YouTube? I don't know. I, I guess it's because like because of the connection that uh, influencers have with their audiences, that's like literally unchanged. Uh, I mean, it's it, the connection is so powerful that YouTubers have, especially kids, because there's a lot of kids on YouTube. Um, because of the uh, because of the relationship that YouTubers have with their audiences, and it's huge. There's a huge number of audiences. Like the the conversion rate is so high that uh, it's very easy to scam. You don't really get any sort of negative consequence. You never face negative consequences of scamming kids. And that's probably the reason. And there's not a lot of like other opportunities that would normally be available to you. Like if you're in legacy media, if you're like a celebrity and you start shilling like dumb, very clearly identifiable scams, like here's my workshop. Then people are gonna be like, okay, fuck you. This is crazy. Like this is the most insane thing that like Tom Hanks is doing. Get the fuck out of here. Whereas when YouTubers do it, they just, they don't get that same that kind of coverage. A couple days ago, you, said you know what I mean? Watch this vid, but didn't get to it. And this guy has great content. Oh, Logan Paul's version of it. What is the Maverick Club? Join the inner circle. We're serious when we say this is one of the most intimate experiences in the world. From exclusive uncut content, the real life hangouts, the same giveaways, limited edition Maverick clothing, site wide discounts and free shipping, a ton more. You know you're going to love it. And uh, they're... There is uh what's her face? So pretty. Lana Lana Rhodes. Perks of the Maverick Club. Join Logan's private weekly Zoom calls. There's no shot he does like actually a weekly Zoom call. Join us for dinner in your city. What the fuck? How much is it? Join for exclusive videos we can't you post on YouTube. Like what? Him working out? Why can't he post this video on YouTube? See you inside. What's Lana Rhodes' favorite color? I don't know. <laughs> Just, <laughs> yeah, exclusive content like... uh what we did with the body at the suicide forest. We couldn't put the entire thing on there, but it's... Yes, I am going to watch uh, Ethan talk to XQC with the for a little bit. I'm a beef man. I'm a beef connoisseur. He's a boy. When he I actually, like when he actually ends up having chef. him on. Perfectly cooked. <laughs> I'm making meats now. Smoking these meats here. I, for the record, though, I don't want beef with XQC. I like him. But I'm going to say this. I had an interesting, <clears throat> like, I don't know all the dynamics and stuff. I think on Twitch, people generally play nicer together. But a lot of people were, like, cross with me calling out this guy train wrecks for gambling. He still gambles. And uh, there's, there was, in my opinion, some attempt, some mental gymnastics going on to say, oh, well, what Aiden Ross is doing is him giving money away, doesn't that technically make it a lottery and requires following gambling laws? I don't think so. Or maybe. Would that technically be considered sweepstakes? I don't know. Okay, when he gets him on, when he gets him on, we'll have a conversation. Or not have a conversation. We'll watch him. Okay? Who's doing the mental gymnastics? He's not talking about me, dumbass. I still think fucking gambling is bad, even when Train does it. Everyone doing gambling is bad, okay? Gambling on the platform is bad. That's my take. What I was saying is, train situation is maybe a little bit less bad in comparison to how remarkably bad the other thing is. Okay? Given the, uh, given train's background personally, his own personal addiction, and also the fact that his audience is older. That's it. I don't know why, I don't know why people are like, you know, uh, trying so desperately to fucking be like, this is fucking... Ethan doesn't feel this way. Ethan understands what my point of view is. Pogo. Mostly because he's a 
Complete degenerate. What's the other thing? Yo. Hassan scanning chat for signs of intelligence, reading comeback zero. Anyway, hot tub streams? No, hot tub streams are not bad. I don't know why everyone is so desperate to be like hot tub streams, hot tub streams, hot tub streams. Hot tub streams are not bad. Okay? In the same way that like you're not promoting you're not fucking promoting like a deep horrible dark addiction to people, okay? I don't know why the fuck people think this. Sex work is readily available and accessible on the internet everywhere you fucking go and it doesn't have the same negative consequences of fucking uh, developing a crippling gambling addiction. Why the fuck are people so stupid? I was so excited to Let's sign up. Let's watch the fucking this. apparent However, shit before we get into I the couldn't. Ethan stuff. Because I guess I missed the enrollment window. So I had to wait well, another month and a half. I still don't understand what this business model is. It seems like the whole thing is a money grab. But then they're like really selective about who they grab money from. Anyway, I forgot about it for a little bit. A couple months go by. I go to check it and realize, God damn it, I missed it again. It was such a short window. They didn't advertise it at all the second time. And then the timer just reset. The whole thing is so weird, but I was determined not to let this opportunity slip by again. So I checked back every yeah. week. I made sure that we were on track. I marked my count. For the record, I fully agree with Mudahar on this, who says peddling unregulated gambling sites to your stream uh, viewers who may or may not be underage is getting hooked them on nasty addictions. The most comeback shit I've ever seen. Why are we losing our shit over ASMR yoga when unregulated gambling is so openly peddled? Like, this take is correct. I, I literally said exactly this. This shit pisses me off so much. There's still motherfuckers who are like, dude, I can't believe your takes on gambling. It's like, I've literally been consistently saying that it's still fucking bad. From the jump. And have unironically said exactly what Mudahar has been saying, which is like, no, you didn't. Okay, have fun. Literally at the same time that the fucking yoga shit was popping off, I was like... Calendars. I set an alarm. Nothing was going to stop me from being there the second that timer hit zero. Which, by the way... His D lies about you all the time? He has fucking three people watching him. Stop mentioning him, dude. Please. Fucking stop. Who cares? Was on Father's Day. Sorry, Dad. I can't have dinner with you this year. I need to sit at my computer so I can sign up for a scan. I made sure that I would be there. I sat and watched as that countdown hit zero, finger hovering over the mouse, and wouldn't you know it, nothing happened. I couldn't join, the text didn't change, it still told me I needed to follow the timer, which was now Thanks gone. How am I gonna become a millionaire now? And that's when it hit me. I just got scammed out of getting scammed. I was practically on my knees begging for it, and instead of taking my money, all they did was waste my time. And you know, they say time is money, so technically they wasted both. Now, the fact that I couldn't join doesn't mean that the course itself is not a scam. I mean, I would argue that if their website isn't being updated to bring in new- When the hot tub shit first started, the whole rant about gambling, it's so weird that everyone forgets that. Yeah, because it's like better for everyone to be like, Hassan never had the- Correct take that I finally arrived at. I arrived at uh, that on my own, or when my parasocial daddy said exactly whatever the fuck uh, Hassan was saying like three months ago. I arrived at uh, at that conclusion when my parasocial daddy said it, not Hassan. Hassan only has bad takes. I don't think that he has good takes. Stop lying, lol. I mean, dude, there are there are a million fucking examples. There are so many fucking different clips of me talking about it over and over again. Here's your rant from LSF a month ago. This is not even the um, first time I talked about the gambling. To be like watching their favorite celebrities that they like idolize. Sorry, bro. And have clip, a sorry, bro. Your clip got only, uh, you know, one a thousand upvotes. So it basically doesn't social exist. social relationship with like constantly and consistently fucking gambling. And it doesn't even matter That's if it's like minute. 18 plus guarded. I mean, I guess like that's one immediate way of trying to stop it but i just i think that like i, I just I, I think that gambling is is not to be fucked with like you will you will destroy 
uh, your life and your family's life. Like, Shadow's not to be, um, to be like watching their favorite celebrities that they like idolize. And at the time, like, people were actually kind of against this. Like, there were plenty of fucking people who were, like, kind of anti this shit. People were, like, making fun of me and shit. Well, Hassan, the LSFTDs are more of a problem. Whenever you bring up gambling, it's always streamer not responsible for your choices. But if it's a bathtub, oh my god, what if a kid sees tits? Here's a post that got 16k. Oh my god, this dude came up with facts. Is that what LSF's argument against hot tub streamers actually is, though? I always thought it was because Twitch is hypocritical about rules. Here's a post I got 16 calpos with LSF showing concern for the kids. Melina asked what happens to when a 13 year old does this. Another one with six calpos about kids. When I told someone I IRL stream on Twitch for a living. Another one with 7.8 calpos on Twitter. The imagine if a 13 year old. We're not done. Here's yet another about the kids with 3.6 calpos. These are all in just the last fucking month. And now suddenly no one gives a fuck about the kids. Let's be honest. It isn't due to LSF having different groups. It's because LSF is full of hypocritical degenerates who are probably sexist and will defend their favorite streamers doing whatever. There are plenty of things that, uh, you know, an adult can do on camera that a 13 year old can't. Like, I don't know why the fuck we're making that seem like. Been watching you know, YouTube for a while. And I, I don't know why that was ever considered like a good argument. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I think it's a terrible argument. Hassan's not a role model episode. for kids. He talks to all sorts of wild shit on stream constantly. Why do we expect streamers to be role models for kids? Also, meta equals XG gambling is quite literally a handful of people, hardly a meta. Give a fucking take. Why would I give a shit about who knows who I am? Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, hardly a meta for sure. Hassle. Gambling isn't bad, LMAO. What is this take? I don't know. I don't know what the fucking take is. I don't know why people think it's not bad. It's I'm legitimately scary. I, I'm legitimately scared, dude. I I am not even kidding about this. I, I have been uh worried about this since day one. I don't think it's like a good idea. I think it's like inevitably going to reach peak momentum. And then people are going to start writing articles about it. And then, you know, platform is going to fucking clamp down harder than before. New members, it probably doesn't bode well for the members they already do have. The Instagram is totally inactive. They've had exactly six posts on there every time I've checked. And that follower number has only been going down, so they're not accepting anyone new. So it's probably safe to assume that they're not keeping up with the $600 a year program that they made. Since I couldn't join the program, the only recent updates I could find were in a video by a YouTuber named Sloan, and he actually had screenshots from some of his subscribers who did sign up for the program. Lots of not so surprising details here, like the information is not even remotely valuable, the videos seem rushed, none of the live streams were ever done on time, which messed up people's schedules because they would make their plans around it. But it gets worse. Not a single active user on here has ever had a FaceTime call. Yeah, I'm sure they kept up with that. Apparently they're- I agree it's bad, but how different is it compared to FIFA Ultimate Team Pack opening streams? Well, didn't FIFA also nerf that shit? Like, the argument that you are literally making has already been solved because FIFA recognized that it was bad. So they now show whatever is in the pack, don't they? And even then, it's not the same regardless. It's like saying like, oh, Pokemon cards, Pokemon cards. Like, okay, dude. But the difference with Pokemon cards is that, sure, that is like simulated gambling. Even loot boxes themselves are not still the same as like, uh, oh, they show odds. Okay, never mind. Yes, it was illegal in some countries, and now they do preview packs. Okay, so they do preview packs.
And regardless, like, that's still fucking bad, too. I don't know why people are like, well, this bad thing exists, so why can't we do this exact other bad thing? Like, it's it's kind of like the argument of, like, well, I can drink alcoholic beverages on fucking uh, stream. Why can't I just fucking mainline heroin on stream? Okay? Because slots, like, directly doing slots, especially on a crypto platform that is literally offshore slot gambling in order to get around U.S. laws is the heroin of fucking gambling, dude. I don't get it, dude. You can drink caffeine. Why can't I do heroin on stream? <laughs> Why can't two wrongs make a right? I know. Here, all right, let's watch. Who's gonna win 300k? He's misrepresenting what I'm saying. I'm not talking about 300k. He's not on yet. Stop linking me the fucking stream when he's not on. You do this every fucking time. I saw XQC on the stream. I saw XQC on the stream, dude. I'm going to be the first. It's literally the same energy as like when Donald Trump is about to go live and you're like, dude, please, 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 please. I don't want to miss a single moment. I don't want to miss a single moment. I don't want to miss a single fucking moment, dude. So I only see an XC when he's yelling about you or other people. Does he hate you or is it like a friend that gets annoying thing? No, we're, I mean, we're friends. Uh, but yeah, he gets fucking uh, annoyed with my takes about gambling and shit like that. Because understandable, he's making money. And nobody wants to be, you know, uh, shit on. And uh, nobody wants to be called out. Viewers resubs. Instantly regrets it. If gambling is doing heroin on stream, what's the equivalent of drinking or smoking on stream? Probably like fucking Pokemon packs or literally playing. Um, 12 months. I what do you call it? Old head hassle. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to make a one-to-one -one direct comparison because like then you're just going to attack the fucking direct comparison that I'm making. But Pokemon packs, gotcha games, shit like that. You know what I mean? Or, uh, I don't know, the top of the hour, 60 second ad break. It comes at the top of every hour. Just kidding. That's the most consistent thing you can get on the stream. So uh, that's uh, that's not even a good comparison because it's consistently you you will win. Okay. You will win consistently. Especially if you subscribe with a $5 a month subscription or a Twitch Prime, you will consistently win avoiding the ad breaks at the top of the hour. Um, so there is that. Uh, Twitch Prime is free too, so there is also that. Or you could use an ad block or a VPN. Those are not as consistent, especially ad block, but you know, VPN is good. Uh, here's the one minute ad break now. <laughs> Why would doing heroin on stream even be immoral? What? Does you die? You want 13 year old kids to fucking... What? Look. I think content creators have a certain set of responsibilities. I would like content creators to hold on and maintain a certain set of responsibilities. Don't be fucking racist. Don't be sexist. Uh, don't be transphobic. Don't be bigoted in general, okay? Don't be bigoted in general because you don't want to promote that kind of behavior in your communities. You should always be a good example to, uh, you know, your community that watches you, loves you, idolizes you, okay? Heroin is an incredibly deadly drug that kills so many people. It's so addicting. It's so deadly. I don't know how to describe. Why that's not a good idea beyond, you know.
So, and the people that make the argument against alcohol, for example, yeah, alcohol is also bad. Okay. I am no Puritan, but I understand that alcohol is also bad. Jammies. The difference between alcohol, however, is that it is significantly harder to fucking, you know, uh, get sloppy with alcohol, even though it's massively available. 13 months. Love as a kid, as like a 13 year old kid, it's a lot easier been, for you to, so you know, get, your, get into a crypto wallet and be able to gamble online on a crypto uh, website. Instead of, you know, going and purchasing liquor from a liquor store. Is he on now? Dan, Dan, you said there's a space in it. I don't believe that. I'm going to lose uh, my mind. There is. Dan, I, Dan I said, copied it from you. He said it doesn't work. Here, I'm sending you his, Dan. And yeah, just send him. Yeah. I just feel like you're blaming the yeah. other streamers rather than I don't think there could be a space in it. I've never seen a space in a Discord ID. I just copy pasted it. I don't know what to tell you. Guys. I got a special one. Guys, you're embarrassing us. Stop. What? They're going to know we're boomers, dude. Oh, they already know that. <laughs> I just feel like you blame the other streamers rather than Twitch for a bit hypocritical. You legit all work for a company that enslaves its other employees, bro. What? What kind of fucking take is that, dude? Hassle, hassle, hassle. What? At Hosanabai. That's fucking nuts. That was an insane take. That like broke me, I think. I think that broke my brain, dude. Actually. I, I'm so confused. It's been seven like, months, Haas Boggy's reminder that Ben Shapiro is fine. I, I need too. to fight me, Papa. No, I need you to under. I need you to clarify what your uh, fucking moronic take was, because I'm so confused. I should never criticize anything ever again because I work for Jeff Bezos, one of the richest men on the planet. Given worksheets to fill out while watching the videos. So it's like homework that you have to pay for. But then when they turn it in, they don't get any feedback. Basically, so yeah. like, what's the point? And even though they're all frustrated with the service they're getting, they're worried about- Like, the, the funny thing is like, again, and I have to repeat this because most of you don't- Fuck, I'm just like still talking about gambling and shit. But most people don't understand this, but there is a lot of- There are a lot of restrictions around alcohol sponsorships, for example. They look at your audience demographic. They look at how many, what percentage of your audience is under the age of 21. They, y you can't really fucking uh, promote alcohol to kids uh, in the same way either. There is a lot of restriction and a lot of regulations that revolve around alcohol as there are around gambling. People happy. This is a way to cut around that by utilizing crypto. There's a reason why these are offshore gambling websites. So it's like multitudes fucked. Same with cannabis. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, if it was more restrictive, I would still feel some type of way about it. Okay? I personally wouldn't do it. But this notion that... This notion that, uh, uh, you know, it is... It is one, not immoral, and two, uh, uh, comparable to, like, all these other... Uh, vices that literally are regulated heavily. I don't know what to say. Misgive is sponsored by Fireball. Yes, his audience must have been primarily Which above the gambling. age of 21. I know it sounds insane because of how he acts, but alcohol companies will literally ask you to reveal your audience demographics. You can say cap, no, no, all you want. I mean, half of you guys are literally in here right now and you're, you, Call yourself Ms. Kids. He's basically saying because of your position, your take is invalid.
People are misunderstanding you as saying promoting gambling is immoral. Is gambling in general being immoral? Yeah, I don't think gambling in general is immoral. I'm not like, I'm not saying it's a fucking sin. But there is a reason why there is so much fucking regulation and restriction around this, dude. You get that? There's a reason why, like, your regular sports book is illegal. There's a reason why you can't just fucking walk into a casino down the street. There's no casinos down the street. You have to go to specific areas. And that restriction is because I of how damaging of a vice it is. If it was, like, readily available for every single person, then you'd be fucked. Peepo Baba Clap Halal Streamer. Okay. Ah. <sighs> People think gambling is an income when in reality it's just for fun. It should be seen as that, not as a way to advertise and make money. Most crypto wallet apps require ID verification deposit. Maybe this seems like another disingenuous save the kid arguments. The true reason is just in general, you think promoting gambling on stream is wrong, just like the incels on Reddit think hot tub streams in general are bad. Yeah, but the difference is that I think that gambling is an addiction that is crippling, leads to fucking death, leads to more suicides than any other fucking addiction out there because, you know, opioid addiction directly kills you. And alcohol, too, directly kills you. Um, whereas hot tub arguments uh, or hot tub streams are not like creating other hot tub streamers. And even if it was creating other hot tub streamers, that's not necessarily a bad thing. The, the impact of that is not a bad. Is it an overall bad? Okay. People have ever turned to the light of Allah chatters. Here. 6952. Shout out to his family for spamming H3. H3 is a fat Jew. We love that. Thank you. Good insight. <laughs> Statement of fact. I am Are Jewish you guys fucking fat. kidding me? E Rob made me. Yes, I know. Thank you. Shout out E Rob. He did make me. We love that about him. Hug up, love, love, love E Rob. He made me. I owe everything to him. Ice made me too. Ice made me. Chat, it's pretty Thanks easy. everyone for being here. I gotta go pee. Maybe. Fuck you, chat. Actually, yeah, fuck so you, nice dude. Nice to have you all here. Appreciate that. Some wild shit in the fucking... Y'all are wild in the chat, man. Um, Keemstar made me. Keemstar made me. I'm seeing a lot of... Donna made you. you Donna, well, Donna sad. did make me. Facts. That's, that's actually Fucking facts right there. Facts. facts. Shout out to Donna. Donna made me. Donna. Smash that like button. That's what my dad did when I came out. My dad smashed that like button on me. Smash that like button. And I've had a, I've had a, I've a huge dimp in my head because my dad smashed the like button so hard on me. So I'm calling him. It, he seems to be, uh, oh. Um, you guys have any questions instead of just spamming shit? I can answer. That's awesome. Good luck with that. Is this in slow mode? Yeah, bye. Oh this my god, this YouTube. is a lot. This YouTube is intense. Hi, Ethan. Hey, Hassan made me. Chats right, Hassan rich. did make me. Everyone made me. Um, Pokey raid? What is that? Wait, does that mean Pokey's here or they want me to raid Pokey? Wow, there's a lot. Wow. Oh, is and it's red? Is it red when they tag me? By the yes. way, okay, I see. Uh, we're waiting for XQC, by the way. So, waiting patiently for XQC. Who's the boomer? We'll find out today on Waiting for XQC. Fe featuring Dan. Yeah, we have Brittany updates today. We've got Wendy William updates today. Love Wendy William. She's my favorite media personality, I would say. Should she suffer? Yes. 
Yeah. We've got lots of Britney updates, which I love. Free Britney. Free Britney right fucking now, dude. I swear to God. Death to all of them. Voting rights is one thing, but Free Britney is another. I don't know who God. that is, Britney, to be honest. I'm oh. not up to date with YouTube drama. Wait, is that him yeah, or is it. that... I got him. That's me. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Thanks this for motherfucker calling. said YouTube What's drama. I can Britney you, Spears can, is not YouTube no? drama. Yeah, he doesn't have video uh, on it. It's so. fine. Pepe got okay, Andy. I'll double cam. Okay, it's fine. Uh, yeah, we don't so need... We can... Yeah. No? You can bring up his stream, maybe. I mean, it's not uh, anybody... Uh, okay, um... We could just I talk. Can I, I, I can't set up a double cam, to be honest. Um... Tell you what. Whatever you, what, you want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn up my cam on stream, because it only takes one input, and I'll put it um, on Discord. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. He, can, yeah, you, can you see me? Uh, I mean, I wish I didn't, but yeah, I can see you. Oh, that bad, huh? Oh, I'm just kidding. Shut up. One year, my good. Video. Um, should be coming up, right? And then I we'll do uh, am... turn on camera like this. It's loading. We've got. We're loading. There he is. Beautiful. All right, dude. I see you. Oh, now I can't hear you, though. Who is the boomer? I don't know if he's talking. Maybe he's talking to his stream. Oh, he's not. Oh, so I can't hear him. Is that that's something on our end? I, I didn't, nothing's changed over here. Oh, I can't hear when you. When he switched on his camera, his audio disappeared. Well, yeah, when the camera came on, the audio dipped. Hmm. Oh, he's gone. Um, he's back. I see you, but I don't hear you. Damn. <laughs> what is happening right now? It's all right. Uh, mm, 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 mm. So scuffed. <laughs> Sorry, I don't control the sound bites. If Zach's heckling you, can blame that on Zach. Boomer TV brought to you by uh, 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 Reverse Mortgages. So yeah, we, I, I, oh, there you are. I hear you. Yeah, I debugged my cam now, but it's not. It's not. Um, it, it, like it's always working. I even did an audio check uh, on my end, and it worked. So I don't know what's going on with it. Okay, so we'll just we can just well, Fog. we can just talk. I guess. I don't know. Try it one more time, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I yeah, hate... yeah. No, I got this. No, no. It's, it's worth it. It's worth it. Okay. Okay. You want to... We can maybe see when it drops out if you talk while you're doing it. Yeah, you ready? Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What about now? Hassle, hassle, hassle. I can still, still hear you. I can still hear you. Now it's gone. What? That's so weird. Yeah, I can't hear you now that the video's up. This episode of Who's the Boomer is brought to you by Reverse Mortgage. My name is Tom Selleck. And you this trust me. This isn't my first rodeo. You trust me, wouldn't you? Big difference is how you pay it back. The big difference is how you pay it back. You're gonna, it's just a loan. You're going to fucking die. So what do you care what happens to your house when you need the cash now? My name. I trust them. I trust them. I think you can too. <laughs> Brought to you by Reverse Mortgage Loan. Oh, I hear. Yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, it, it, it's on your end. I can see you guys' entire interface. Uh, it switches entirely. You're getting whenever, called out, Dan. Yeah, so whenever I go to camera, his interface completely changes. I, can, I, I, mean, I, can, I don't know why it's happening, but I can see your interface. He's calling you out, Boomer Dan. It's impossible. Oh, Zach says it's impossible? All right, well. Okay, let's just talk. Dan is, Dan, listen, I, I don't know anything about I'm sorry, that doesn't make anyway. any sense. Okay, okay, okay. Whenever I go to camera, Ethan's camera is a my camera reverse. It's like really weird. Yeah, that one, that's what happens whenever I switch. So yeah, you gotta fix this. Gotta fix it. Because I can still see myself talking, I can hear myself, I do audio checks. Try it. Let's see if, yeah, let's see it. Maybe, you know, he's been around. He's, this isn't his first rodeo. Bro, how the fuck was I like able Tom to do Sally this says. easier than well, XQC? I run with, like, really, really uh, cheap audio uh, shit. 
right, and it's all really, really uh, straightforward. So whenever there's a glitch, it's usually not my end. That seems like the opposite. I find of what this makes hilarious sense. that you run with I. No. Shit. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I guess they're using. <laughs> you only, you, you only have one input, one output. I mean, when things go wrong, if I can still see myself talking, oh, there's no way I switch audio tracks, right? But you, motherfucker, you got a production running, and you got like 80 fucking inputs and outputs, and I know that, with a bunch of fucking wires. Yeah. Your shit is scuffed, mine is fine. He's right. Okay, so we can hear you, and then you turn on your camera, and your audio disappears. That's on our end? Yeah, when I turn my camera, uh, Ethan's camera uh, is mine, but flipped, and then it starts scuffing up. I think it's flipped, dude. Has woke, has woke, has woke, Wait, well, has okay, woke, let's just try what he's suggesting, Dan. I, I did what he suggested. Okay, so now let's Done. try bringing the camera on. Dan, did you, did you see the uh, change? Yeah, yeah. ready? Yeah. I'm, okay, I'm gonna let, do it now. Let's give it, let's give it a shot. If he's right, Dan, you're gonna eat crow. Dude, right. Fair enough. Steven Crowder's not gonna pop up, is he? <laughs> 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 that would be, yeah. All right, here we go. Go ahead and talk. And, uh, yeah, I hear you. You're gone. The your audio's gone. gone. Oh, what a shock. Okay, cut, Dan. Not trying to beef here. We're making a mess. <laughs> Let Bro. Wait, is it not working? Now? It's not working. I can't well, hear. Well, what a fucking nightmare! <laughs> we can just do audio XQC. Yeah, why don't we just do audio? So, Ethan, if you just bring his stream up. Yeah. Oh, the, okay. the day is like a couple of seconds. It's and then, and then what? Put it on my screen or just for me? Cause... Yeah, and we just box you in the corner and we watch him. That's fine. Okay, I'll just pull up your. Yeah, uh, there you yeah, go. This is there you go. Yeah, I'll just pull up your stream. Um, X. Uh, XQC. Mister XQC. Here we go. So I'll just put this here like this, love. So that like the audience can watch. Yeah, it's good for the. Okay. Okay, great. So let's just get the the, the voice back. Mm-hmm. And then... <laughs> so... I'm, I'm, I, just, I'm watching I, an ad for you. You can hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. It's funny that I'm he just, has to so watch... Just open your... It's hilarious that he has to watch ads because he's uh, not a partnered streamer, dude. What? All right, great. Is this a, is this good, love? Are we good? Show Ethan's screen. In the... Uh, yeah. You can just crop me in if he wants to. Oh. QR two A. Are we good? I don't know what's happening. I, I have no technical understanding of what's so, happening. I think we're you know what you know what, you know what? we can go high tech shit if you can hear me. I can do a private mirror of my own OBS, and you can crop my face in so you have so you have a live feed of it. That's sick. <laughs> Dan, do you understand that? Ready? Watch this. Okay, he's gonna do some high tech shit for us here. Can you see that? Look, now I give you a mirror, right? Yeah. So now I'm like, I'm like twice in the call. Now there's me and there's my screen on the right. There you go. Which oh, is okay. So I don't yeah, need to do anything. Yeah, that we can see. Now that thing, I'm like, I'm gonna like leak the M's now by accident. But uh, yeah, you get the point. Um, okay, so how are you? you? Oh, I'm doing great, man. What about you guys? First of now all, thanks he's... for calling. I appreciate it. I understand that some comments I made uh, 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 was, as you said, scum lord. No, uh, it's just, um... <laughs> scum lord! Um, I assume you think it's, it's good, ready to go now? Andy! So, uh, like, we can, we can start discussing? Yeah, let's discuss. So what did I get wrong? Well, apparently, apparently I have audio crackle now. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> People are saying audio. You sound fine for me, by the way. Okay. Um, right? Like, he's, he, he sounds fine for us, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm at a loss at this point, dude. I don't know what to tell us. Uh, I'm Lord! the fucking mirror, then. There you go. <laughs> okay. the dude, this is... it, it, it sounds fine for me. Everything has been fine yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Okay, I, I, well, I, I say that we're all good now. We're, we're ready to go. Ready to go? I'm ready, dude. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't watch uh, most of um, the stuff with uh, with Miz and Azan or whatever. Mm -hmm. Azan. I, I didn't. I didn't watch most or uh, any of that. It was mostly um, your podcast that I watched. Yeah. And uh, and overall, I just feel like you guys. Um, there was no really not a point of defense, but any kind of like cardio argument because you guys were like going three one against uh, Adin of of, uh, of all people. Um, well, I wanted to miss Adin, but. Um, what do you, you know, mean? Ad, what do you mean, Aiden of all people? What does that mean? 
Well, I mean, um, he's kind of like a bare bone, just doing stuff, you know? Um, and um, I think he's kind of like me like years ago when I had... When there was like a thought process, I'm he's I, saying I he's dumb, like, dude. Like, like, he's just saying he's fucking dumb. That's that, what but, he's saying. Um, okay, so you know? so let's so so great. Let's hear it. it, it, t it tell me what I got wrong, and let's start there. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I, I I don't have that many points. Okay. It's just the fact that um, let's say you're going at something, right? Like um, nice. the Gamba stuff. That even I agree that it, it it's wrong on on multiple levels, right? Mm -hmm. um, when you say a bunch of truths and you swoop in some like some lies or misconceptions, I think it can be really damaging. Because what that does, that, uh, in my opinion, is that uh, it makes somebody who did it, who has done it, or people who have even moved on after doing it. This is it a very once, successful argumentation like, technique. Uh, like really, really terrible, much more than than they should. Well, they, they should they should be fucked on, but not, not like to a crisp. Well, hold on. Hyper focusing so you're, on you're like insinuating that hyper focusing on like I random parts about the argument instead of overall misinformation or lies. And obviously, I would disagree. So let's just good, start by saying arguing. what are those it's misinformation or lies? Okay, okay. Some of the stuff you guys said, like um, uh, was on a podcast. We guys are like, um, oh, dude, these like uh, 400k wins, 300k wins. I mean, this can't happen. It's got to be rigged somehow, right? Like, uh, it's big advertisement if they get a big win on stream or whatever, and it shows to the viewers. Uh, you... It's 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 rigged, and he even agreed. And uh, I mean, you pushed a point. Versus. She agreed. Everybody agreed. You guys made jokes about it. I think that kind of makes people really look really bad. Cause, Sorry, um, hold on one sec. Did you just run an ad on your stream? It's automatic. Oh shit! I was like, damn, dude, fucking get it, boy. Yeah, because I was like, yeah, so I said, run ad block, because it's automatic. Oh, 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 oh okay. I don't, I, I don't have ad block on this one. That's okay. Um, so you're saying dude, that, so basically, awesome, I don't know dude. why you're saying 300,000. 300, so the stuff, I'm the, losing the specific my mind. wins that we looked at were all in the millions. And I thought to myself, this is very unlikely that multiple streamings are winning top level millions jackpot. Million, two and a half million. I mean, the likelihood of that is very, very low. Now, I, I have no problem believing that you guys, because I know you're, you were gambling on the very high Ethan, end. Ethan, Ethan, listen, listen, listen. I'm yeah. okay with a discussion. But if you're, if you're going to backpedal like a, I didn't a bitch. I didn't well, backpedal back one inch. Right now. You're doing it right now. Whoa! You you made a you made a statement and, and you you had an opinion. You were strong about it and you went hardcore and you were you were. Whoa! Well, how did peers. I backpedal? You're misrepresenting you're back, you're what I said. No, that's not true. No, he's I not. Show, he's not misrepresenting it. He misunderstood it. In the podcast, were specifically people winning million dollar jackpots, and I said the likelihood of this happening is very low. Now, what am I backpedaling on? Well, he misunderstood exactly the argument. The he thinks yeah, Ethan is saying it it's a, a scam. Harder, it, it, it went all the way to say that it was um, unregulated, which does make sense. Uh, and then that's like, uh, oh, time. yeah, rigged. Yeah, that's not happening. Oh, and then, and he that's it up. so well, dumb, dude. If you stood a discussion like that, and you he misunderstood. Fly, the whole right? point is like, that's, that's like, not uh, what happens regularly. And people see the highs, it. they don't see the lows. It's bad for everybody. The gambling is bad for everybody. Why does he fucking do this every time, bro? He literally... He, he gets to himself the heated, the misunderstands the, the argument, fucking, and then fucking yells at we, people we over his own notes. misunderstanding. Well, hold on. You're not, you're not addressing what I said. I never had a problem with people winning 200, 300, 300,000 jackpots. It seems very unlikely to me, and it still does, that multiple Twitch streamers can be winning these top-level million-dollar jackpots. The odds of that happening, if you go into a casino, for example, you're not going to uh -huh. cruise through there in a month's time and see, be seeing these huge million-dollar jackpots in the same place. The okay. likelihood of that okay. is very long. Now, let me clarify further mm -hmm. that I think it's entirely possible, and in fact... I, understanding who you are and your reputation and I see oh, your thanks. that like you've apologized and made amends for this I don't think you are in on this okay I think these websites which are unregulated have full capacity to fudge the statistics when you guys are playing to make it more it's likely that you hit these big jackpots to make it more appealing to the people watching that's the problem with Fair unregulated enough. this is the Fair problem enough. with unregulated casinos if you go to yeah. Vegas if you play there's big casinos that are regulated by different commissions okay. Okay, okay, good. I'm gonna stop you right there then. Okay, so since you're kind of gish galloping, I, I, there's a lot of points you made that I think there's, there's four there that I, could, I, that I want to address. And now you're going to the fifth one. It's, it's kind of hard. Uh, okay, uh, one, okay, okay. How often do you go to the casino and you see somebody pull out a $50,000 chip and you see him, you see him slamming into the machine over and over again? 
Back to back to back to back. The, the jackpots that we saw people win were on $1,000 bets. Okay. $1,000 bets. It's not oh, a dollar bet. Oh, dude, stop. It's a thousand dollar bet. This is the worst that thing, dude. That leads the person to a fifty thousand dollar bonus. That's what people are buying into or winning it. It's a, it's a, it's a bonus worth fifty k. So would you not say that, that it's, that it's like, it's, it's like, there's a good likelihood, or, or, or one that is reasonable, that if you're, in, if you're, if you're in a fifty thousand dollar bonus, you could get a two x, which is a hundred thousand, a four x, which would be two hundred thousand, because let's say you're playing something like um. Uh, I, I'm not going into specifics, but let's say this guy said you're gish galloping uh, and then went on a fucking completely insane okay. tangent. If by you're the doing way. five hundred dollars spins, uh, you can naturally get a bonus, right? You can naturally get it. If you want to buy it instantly, it's fifty thousand dollars. Literally, you you you're buying a bonus for fifty thousand. The likelihood that that you could be getting a four hundred k, five hundred k win, even even a million, it's not that unlikely. That would be a, 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 a 20x. I agree. Is that, is, is that that crazy? It's not that crazy. No, but the, again, the bets we, the people were betting, then they won those huge million dollar plus jackpots were $1,000. They were not 50000 Yeah. It makes sense. It makes sense. What? Uh, the bonuses is where everybody get, get, uh, get their shit. And yeah, you, you're right. What? It is, it is a $1,000 spin. But if you enter a $50,000 bonus on a $1,000 spin, yeah, you got lucky to get the bonus, and you got lucky again in your bonus. Does that make sense? But yeah, you're right. It is still a thousand dollar bet. But it is it. Um, Here's the thing. Hey, at, the, at the at, at the end of the day, it's not even about how much we bet or how much you win or whatever. I trust that you're not scamming anyone, right? i am say that now, okay? Right. What is the problem is that these gambling sites are unregulated, and I and I know from first-hand experience what unregulated gambling sites do and what it means for the people using it. Unregu Makes sense. Uh, unregulated Wait, no. gambling sites have the ability to do anything they want. There's no oversight, and it is basically a functional fraud. Um, yeah, right. They, they, can, they can fudge the numbers, the statistics. They cannot yep. pay out people who are winning. They can Ooh, change. Wait, you, you skip the step there. You skip the step. When? They can, you said they, they can fight with the physics. Um, I, I, could be, I could be wrong about this. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to take information from, from some uh, website or some source if you if you guys have it. Um, None of this matters because XGZ's fan base is going to say he's really smart and he's right. Um, to website. But you're forgetting the middle part, the middle ground, the middle, the middle man. What's provider. It's player provider website. You're saying the software that, that powers. <laughs> no matter what happens, they're going to be like, you were right, you were yeah, so right. The player plays on the website. But Actually, that's probably not true. None of them probably agree with him now. It's from a provider. Like Pragmatic Gaming, uh, Let me Play see and Go, or uh, some other bullshit. These are the providers. They make the game. Okay. The website hosts the games, and you can use your bounds or whatever and whatnot to interact with, with, the, with the game Then you're, you're betting. But ultimately, you're He's interacting right, with chat, the Pepega. provider. He's right, Chad Pepega. So who is the so provider? Is that, the, do you know so the, the, the provider? They're very well established. Like, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure very legitimate, I mean, quote-unquote, uh, 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 providers. Like, that, Pragmatic is fucking huge. Right. But the, so let me tell you this. I happen to know, again, from first-hand experience, when I was in living in Israel, I worked for gaming websites just doing marketing bullshit. And the whole industry uh, crumbled because the websites and the software were all in on this massive scam be sense. because it was all unregulated. And what the sites were doing together with the software is they would do this thing called risk management. When people were winning, they would lower the stats. And sometimes if people were playing and they wanted to win, they could hire, they could raise the stats. And then the other thing that they do, which is outside the software's control, is change the rules. When someone actually wins and is trying to cash out, they'll say, we suspect you're cheating. That's one of their go-tos. Or they'll just make these onerous, un impossible goals to meet with ID and verification. Okay. To the point where these people can never get their money out. Okay, it makes sense. Um, and that sounds like a website uh, problem. Uh, that, that seems like an anecdotal evidence to me. Uh, depending on who you worked with or whatever, I don't know if they're big or not. But right now you're talking about like um, colossuses of the industry. I, I don't know they that much about it. They, yeah. 
Well, I mean, I mean, were they like absolute global overlords that have in real life casinos, multiple of them, multiple locations, um, all the cross the board games that are that legitimately are regulated. Now, so, you, now, you talk, now you're talking about a, a scam that would go in, that would be to crazy lengths. Now, you're talking about some fucking some flat earther shit, nearly. Did Destiny I don't just the like flat earther comparison, basically? I mean, like, I, did Destiny I, literally tell XQC like, what to say? These are all like those the whole, this, every, those arguments. Nobody, like, I've like, heard no, these. So, everybody. So we're 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 talking about something that I don't have a specific knowledge of. So if you're that's like a designated Destiny crypto, argument, like vilifying like the correct I don't concern that someone has softwares that they host from real life examples by just saying this sounds like flat earth so shit. I don't I can't sit here and confirm one way or the other. Oh well, this this slot software is secure and this one is not. So I can't have that conversation because I don't have that information. Yeah, it makes sense. It's just that I feel like overall it um uh yeah, like I said, like I'm not, I'm not gonna bash it on this. Okay, the gambling shit is bad. We all agreed on that. Yes. It's just that whenever we throw shit like this, it it makes some of the like some what? of the gambling that was literally just hit, uh, not just but hitting slot machines all day look like some CS:GO lotto fucking scandal. Uh, and it makes everybody look like way worse. Even people that did it once or a couple times, they even moved on. It makes it look terrible. It makes it look part of some sort of fucking advanced racket when it's it's really not. I do. So here's what I think. I don't think you're part of an advanced racket, but I do think these casinos that are paying people millions of dollars every month to play is part of an advanced racket. I do believe that. But I don't think you're a part of it. And I think it's great that you stopped. And I think that you're the fact that you did stop is 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 like totally great and that you can move on having known that you 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 have acknowledged that this was damaging and that you stopped and that's fine. Like Ms. Kiff did it, he stopped same for the same good reason as you and I have respect for you guys for doing that. The problem I have with Aiden Ross is that he after that conversation, he became aware of these issues. He acknowledged them, and he specifically said he's not going to stop. And, Makes sense. And, you know, and I, again, there's this other issue of this guy, Trainwreck, who I, I'm a supposing everybody likes, so people don't like being critical of him. But it's the same thing. He knows what he's doing is wrong, but he continues to do it. So, I mean, that's the pinnacle of doing the wrong thing. It's like you, once you know something's wrong, you have to stop now. And I'm glad you did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is gonna get opinionated real fast. To be, uh, I was just trying to go with like the the actual facts, facts, because um, he said, uh, dude, but uh, people are scarred. People, wait, when they, people hear words and 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 you see, is mad that people, like people go, go, he it, alluded it, it, to the fact crazy. that okay, so the when, stakes say, could be oh, the odds uh, are fucked with, or this can be rigged or That's will be it? rigged, and whatever, like um, like it really does make everybody look fucking uh, way worse than. You know, well, what am I supposed I to do? I'm not, I'm not, I can't, look, I don't he didn't know even you. Fuck, and, that wasn't and, even the main was, argument. I'm not here to protect your reputation. I mean, I do think that these people that run these casinos have the capacity to fudge the numbers. I don't think you're in on it. I'll say that for sure. Uh, I don't think they do. I, I, unless, unless there is, listen, so, I, I hope you understand this. I'll say it again. Some of these companies that no, run dude, these games because his name is like being brought up. Titans. His name wasn't brought up. Uh, he brought uh, his own I name would, up. I would genuinely be surprised, and I'm I'm willing to be wrong no about this. No one brought his name up in that conversation. All, all, my, all my faults. If there's an ex, if there's an extreme racket between both providers and the website in a coordinated racket on certain individuals, uh, he to, was literally to, never to mentioned in this numbers, conversation from top would, to bottom. Go, never yeah, mentioned. I, I, it would blow my mind. It's uh, I, I, yeah. I mean, I have to. I, I'm gonna have to go and do more research about like the website you guys are using and the casinos they're using, which I'm which I'm happy and willing to do. I'm gonna do that, and we can he continue did, this conversation when I get no, more dude stats is mad but because... I, uh, or more research on that. But I can say from firsthand experience that they do do this. They do do this. They do. Oh uh, yeah. Um. Extremely shady bullshit trash, but I think some of the more established uh, big providers are somewhat regulated. I agree, uh, but are these the they, ones they, paying they really you guys are, two million dollars a month to gamble on Twitch? Uh, I got paid dirt fucking cheap. Okay, uh, well, whatever you got paid, I don't know, but I doubt that these big, these big regulated companies are going to come here and pay people on Twitch because it's very fucking, it's borderline, I think it's probably illegal for them to come here and promote these people because, like, the regulations around this in the United States alone, let alone international, is absolutely fucking um, a web of disaster, right? Like, Oh, yeah, I mean, 
it, it, listen, if, if we start speaking at, at, at legality shit, it's, 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 a, it's a whole fucking wazoo of things that I don't think me or you or any other podcast, any expertise I'm fucking talking about, it's going to be right. a, an no, absolute well, nightmare. Well, what I can say, without getting too deep into it, because I agree it's so complicated, is that a big, regulated, reputable casino is not going to sponsor a Twitch streamer who's broadcasting to all 50 states, the vast majority of them it's illegal in, to countries where gambling is, is extremely illegal in. They're not going to do that because they're going to get in so much shit with all those governments He's that right. It's not going to be worth it for them to the point where they can even get shut down. That's happened many times. Yep. Yeah. So uh, the, the the guys operating these 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 com, these affiliate um, casinos for Twitch streamers are guys that are getting paid in crypto who are going to disappear one day when the regulators come to clap down and they start asking questions. They got money that is right. all clean, all safe in crypto, and they're going to fucking disappear. Yeah. Uh Listen, I, I feel like some of these discussions are a little bit above our pay grade, and I, I just I'm, feel like... I, I'm um, comfortable with this conversation. This one is fine. <laughs> just the, the, the more, the more upper-level one, uh, things get really complicated. Um, you're, you're absolutely correct, though. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't think anybody's going to debate So some why of this is shit. he mad? Uh, and, and, like, I don't understand all. why he's mad. I, I, um, it was more it was more a fact that um, I don't want to say something that, that, is, that is just wrong or, or, or stupid. Um... Yeah, just like, just like, uh, how do I explain this, okay? I, I was going to elaborate on, on this point. People are very scarred, and they absolutely should be. The CSGO lotto shit was so damaging, it was the most shitstorm thing ever. Mm -hmm. The people that, the people that, 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 that were just doing it, um, uh, the people that, the people that weren't part of it, that were just, like, gambling on the websites, like, like, users or whatever, got fucked over. Mm -hmm. Um, Twitch got fucked over. Lawsuits at the wazoo. The whole thing was terrible. I mean, you know, I'm sure you know about it, right? The Phantom Lord bullshit. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Very so whenever, familiar. whenever, whenever people think or or, or hear that things can be manipulated uh, one at a time, like 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 the percentage question mark thing, um, it, it 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 rings it rings it rings a really bad bell. And then if you add names to that, like oh, Train X, Miss, all of them, everybody, and you add names that to the, to, to that bell. Um, it, it, it just creates damage. So well, the, I feel like whenever you talk about that, you have to be a little bit responsible, especially when you're running like a, like a podcast and you're trying to be factual about things and not opinionated. I, I, oh, I understand that you're upset that your name got included, but I do, I stand by what we said about it. I mean, I never said, I don't think I said that you are in on the scam. And I'm willing to clarify that I don't think you're on the scam. And where the CSGO lotto thing differs from what's still going on now is that the people who were promoting the CSGO lotto shit were the people that owned the website, right? As far as I'm aware, and, you know, I don't think there's any evidence that would suggest, is that none of you guys, I mean, obviously I'm not accusing, you definitely are not involved, um, do not own these gambling websites, obviously, right? So that's the difference. Oh, wait, wait, so, so, so you're still calling it a scam then? You, you still your core believe that the whole thing, like... like most of it is a scam. Yes, yes. It's a black, I do it's believe a black it's a scam. Thing. I do believe that all... I just explained to you how... You agreed that these people are going to run away with all this crypto someday in the near future. How is that not a scam? And what part is a scam? The winnings? The... the, the like, like, which part? The, part? the part of the scam is that they're taking people's money. They are potentially... They're potentially screwing with the numbers, with the payouts... It, and they're going to run away with all the money. I mean, that's a, that is a scam. There is deception. I'm not, again, this is all conjecture, but the fact is that they're doing this via crypto. They're not verifying people's IDs. They're promoting it on Twitch, with, which any reasonable, um, ethical, well-regulated gambling company wouldn't do. For all He's the worried that, like, any time so, he says it's a scam, he means it's, it's like, scam? directly no, the same as like, the fucking Phantom Lord shit. Know that, but, like, my, my hunch on this and my, and my reporting, which is very— oh, no, all, of my, are, all, all of my reporting is very um, editorial. So, you know, in my, in my opinion, it is a scam. Okay, okay. So, so, okay. So now we're going from, um, I, I, I know it's a scam to, to, I have a hunch. That I never it said, may be some dude, I never said, I know this is a scam. I'm lit. Everything I do is editorial. I don't know what that means editorial. 
It's my, it's my opinion. How would I know it's a scam? I don't sit in their office and audit their, their data. Okay. Um, Why did he think um, this was a good argument, dude? Okay. It's, it's some of these points, yeah, some of these, some of these points don't make sense. Uh, you're saying that they, that they would, I mean, I know Twitch, why, but they, they but... do, though. Uh, a Rubet, a, a steak, a fuck ass. Um, fuck ass. All, I was on Twitch. Yeah, all the all the other ones, whatever the fuck, who the fuck they are, um, they're all advertising on Twitch. Uh, like, multiple people, they have, they have a lot of affiliates on Twitch that are sponsored. I love that his so biggest that concern, saying that it, his they, biggest concern they, is that it, like, but, 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 his like, gambling the, winnings might not be legitimate. They, not that, they like, you know. If they were legitimate, but they do. Like, I don't that's know which it. That's what he's angry about, which about. is crazy. Like that's well, not I mean, even. I mean, all the big ones. I mean, I don't think anybody gives a fuck about, about the small. Looking dog, at like, judging at previous fucking scams on the internet. It's a it's a reasonable speculation for Ethan to make. Riders, like all the other ones, and being shady it's not, on that. It's, it's hardly the main point of the conversation. The big the big hitters, the big names, the ones that people actually use, the ones that are reputable. So those, and you're saying that though you're still saying that these are actual scams. I don't know. I'm saying the ones where you sit, where you pay in crypto and they don't check your ID are scams. Likely scams. Likely. Uh, dude, how would I know? I don't sit in their offices, audit. Everything I say is editorial. I'm not a fucking clairvoyant. Like, that's, 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 that's inherent in what I'm saying. I'm a fucking guy. I give an editorial opinion about things. Obviously, if I say it's a scam, it's based on my reasonable observation. All he needed to say, all he needs, to, all Ethan needs to say here is like, dude, okay. this is based okay. on so previous what, experiences what, and what examples part, I've seen. Do you, think, do you think that they're going to that's vanish it. overnight and do an exit scam and just go, no more payouts, fuck you, suck yes, my balls? I think that's very it. likely. Okay, so you think they're gonna they're gonna poof and exit scam out of the blue? Yes, I think that's very likely. Okay. Um, what else part of scam is that? Uh, uh, what, what, what other scam is there in, uh, in there that you have mixed up in there? <laughs> I mean, that's enough, what, what, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's enough, but I mean, like I said, I'm trying to go on things that are tangible, things that are, that we can talk about. I, I mean, are, I've, list, have, I've listed happened. it. I've listed it. The main points is that they're taking crypto. They're not checking people's IDs. They're advert. They're having people play on on Twitch, play their game. They're paying people to play their game and put their affiliate code on their screen on Twitch. There I'm is, sure, sure. there is the no, highlight. I'm the, Go ahead. Okay. Well, yeah, no, I'm just saying. Uh, I'm, I mean, we're just, talking uh, in circles I'm, here a little bit. No, 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 no I, a little bit. But I think I think precision is key in those things, though. Okay. So if you do, if we do have to circle twice to get something right, I mean, we have to do it. If you, I mean, if you want, I mean, I don't mind. If you, if you want, want to go. Yeah, scam shit, bullshit. They're gonna scam. Well, what do you how? want me to say? You want you want me oh, to oh, you want oh, me no. to say I don't know 100% certain it's a scam? Of course I don't 100% know it's a scam. How could I possibly? Okay, no. Okay, well things are tangible. Like verifying IDs, they do verify IDs. Uh, they do, and they also cross reference. I'm pretty sure uh, login uh, login locations or whatever, and they ban accounts. And like I said, I'm not defending anybody, but I'm just saying that that's just like mean, across is, the board. Though. I don't want people to look like um like like scam or. I get it. Somebody might be a scum lord for promoting gambling. We got that out of the way. That is absolutely true. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to mix them up uh, scum lord with scam lord. I agree. I I, I, wait, I agree with wait, you. I do don't they, do they not verify your ID or do they verify your ID? Why are people in my chat the saying they don't verify ID? Uh, one, the and also, he himself has created casinos. multiple like said, accounts and like we know that like well, they fake know. ban the people. You know what I mean? You know I mean? Some fucking, some scammers. Well, uh, who, which individual then would be part of it? Somebody you've seen, somebody that, 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 that's out there. Why do I need anybody? to know who they are? They're obviously... Anybody. A player, a, a streamer, anybody. I said I don't think streamers are involved in the back end. Okay. I said I don't, I do not think streamers are involved in the back end. And that's how it differs from CSGO Lotto. It's because CSGO Lotto was run by people that owned the website, right? So that's where it differs, where you guys are just being paid to promote this product. I don't think that you guys, you streamers, are in on the back end of the ownership of these casinos. I think you guys are just paid to promote their product. That's it. Okay. Yeah. That's, I mean, that, that, that's pretty The enough. crypto like websites we, uh, themselves don't actually like, fucking oh, verify your ID, right? It's the crypto wallet that verifies like, uh, your ID. 
Or maybe you need a verification so, so for payout? What, uh, what, what were the main points that you guys were mad at Adin for? <laughs> so the reason why I... I was disappointed in Aiden because he said, for, oh, all the shit. for all the reasons that we discussed, that promoting gambling is not good, right? We all, you say it's scum Andy, right? So it's a scum Andy situation. Yeah, he, it is a scum Andy. So he acknowledged that. And then I said, so you need to stop. I said, you need to stop doing the gambling. But he said, I can't stop. I'm not done yet. So, so that's my problem. It's pretty simple. He acknowledged that it's scum Andy. To use your parlance, thank you, and um, and and he refuses to stop. So yeah, that was that was my problem with Aiden. It's pretty simple. I uh, well, I'm not gonna defend him on that because yeah. there's no point. But yeah. uh, I, I I just feel like I just feel like the reasoning behind it is probably like this. Um, he thinks it's, he thinks it's content. His people think it's content. Um, he enjoys doing it. He gets paid. Whatever moral ethics or whatever you're gonna throw in there, I think I think he, I think he stopped at, at my first sentence, and it's just gonna it's gonna it's gonna kind of like e stop. So whatever you're gonna throw in there, I think I don't think it's getting at him. That's why he said, um, you know, well, I'm still I, gonna do well, it. Well, clearly that's how he I agree. It. Yeah, I mean that's the point. I think it's fucked up though. He's he's willing to turn his head, to he's willing to turn a blind eye to getting a bunch of kids, and I'm sure I don't know what your demographic is, but I know. Dude, crypto websites versus wallets, dude? Yeah, that's like saying I uh, drove a car to get to the Vegas gambling uh, casino, so they don't need to check Dreamy. my ID within Dangerous, the casino. Dangerous, damaging vice. I learned the other oh, day man. from Hassan, actually. I mean, it's the worst of all, pretty much. Exactly. They call it the deadliest vice because the most amount of people commit suicide from... Yep from getting addicted to gambling. And so he's, and then kids, on the other hand, these are undeveloped brains that are being exposed to one of the most, the, to the deadliest addiction. They're, and they're playing slot machines too, which is like the heroin of, of, of gambling. Cause it's just like, click, 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 dopamine, 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 dopamine. It's so intense. They are, have these Whatever. young undeveloped brains. They're already getting this taste but of adrenaline and like, addiction. Is so good. And it, it is on very, the other very, hand, very such bad a bitch. for, them for their families it's very damaging it's fucked up and he's making like two million dollars a month we saw from his from his leak yeah, i love you from his leak I mean, DM. I think he's... and so you know it's easy for him to turn a blind eye but at, at the cost of of a lot of lot of damage that he's going to be doing to his to his audience so so now that we that we did now that we've drawn the the, the problem uh, pretty accurately now let's want to talk about and since you brought it up as like um uh it's it, it uh it it increases the problem. What about somebody who, who, who wouldn't be doing that, right? Somebody who, because we always we we hear the thing, oh, he's doing that to children, doing that to kids. At which point does it go across and says, it's not towards kids anymore? Like what really draws the bar? Is it because the streamer's older? His audience is older? What, at what, at what point are you sort of like, uh, I would say you could say immune from, from that very, very thing? Because I, I, I feel like, this is just my opinion, I think you'll make a good effort, even though it's still scum shit. Um, I joined the line saying, 18 plus, don't do it. Uh, like, uh, uh, the, the stream itself being on mature mode, if you want to go across, what is it, like, like literally, like, eight barriers of security, I mean, uh, fuck, it, it, it's kind of hard. So then is it, like, a complete, a complete no? Like, at what point is it not towards children and you you, you can start uh, stop saying I, that yeah i think that's a really good question and the truth is it's it's probably not an easy answer but i will say that on youtube for example anytime you even put a link in the description that links to a gambling site you're going to get uh, terms of service so the the, the 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 truth is in my opinion that twitch is just not the right place for that because of there's just too much potential for harm there. what is what is i don't know None. I mean, I mean, we're, we're, we're never gonna. Uh, nobody's ever gonna uh, agree on any of these points because um, it's a no cost of board. Yeah, probably I, it probably I, I think... is. You know, and and and, and you know, it's fine. It, it is because at the end of the day, what you're doing is not good. And I understand that it's content, and I understand that you're getting paid, and that everyone's having fun on the face of it. But like underneath, you've got this big iceberg where on the top it's everyone's having fun watching and you're making a lot of money and then underneath the water is this huge clump of suffering that's going to happen as a result of people right. getting into gambling from watching you so i mean okay. ethically it's never okay but it's really even specifically Except less okay in this case okay 
So, one of my early reasonings, okay, uh, or early on, before I even start any of this, and I agree with what you just said. Uh, my early reasonings, um, not like a, not like a, like a coping, like oh yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna. Oh, I feel better doing it. I was YouTuber, people, people are, are always ask every streamer for at least one gamma stream, or whatever. And I wanted to do a gamma stream, and then, so I, I had to sign up, right? And one of my early reasonings, um, why I was going to do that first gamma stream, uh, that was unsponsored, just, just, just willingly, is that um, there were so many barriers to get there. Um, that like, yeah. Even I, as a 25-year-old, I'm a, like a Zoomer, right? I, I signed up, did all the verifs, all over. I, I have a PayPal with money. I have a credit card with money. I, I, I have it all set up. Hans Uli, that's the dumbest argument anyone's ever made. Money in. Mm -hmm. You're too fucking right? stupid. And to me, that was a, my, my first thought was, I was like, okay, well, fuck. I mean, You're too it, stupid to if, if, respond if I, to. If I can't fucking do it, you know? Uh, um, it looked like there was a good amount of, I drove of a security car so I can get, uh, I can it. gamble without an ID is like, the uh, stupidest argument. It, but maybe it that, doesn't like, deserve a bad. response. Maybe I'm just a dumbass, though. Maybe, well, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm just an, I'm just an well, idiet for not being able to deposit it. But no, still. You're, you're right. It's, sometimes it can be hard. But the one thing I would point to is that I've seen, I actually haven't seen, but I've heard references, maybe you've seen it, where streamers show the amount of money that their audience has actually deposited using their codes as a result of their streams, yeah. and that these numbers are massive. So however difficult it is, people are figuring it out, right? I showed mine, and mine were... I, I'm actually kind of confused about that, though. Mine were ter mine were, mine were, mine were dog shit. Hmm. So because my people, my people don't gamble, I, I don't understand. I at least showed them all of them. They were, they were trash. Uh, but which doesn't make it better. I'm not gonna say, sit behind and say. Well, maybe oh, maybe you were not more. Not a lot of people used it. It's uh, it's possible that the way you promoted it was in a way that that you were more upfront about it. That what didn't look more appealing to people. Whereas there's other people doing it, and their numbers are massive. So there's obviously a reason with how they're doing it, how they're promoting, it, how they're talking about it, that that will drive more people. It could also depend on the website you're on, where maybe the website you were playing on was legit and uh, they were much more rigorous with letting people deposit, where someone else might be playing on a shadier website that's, that's much more easy to get money in. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess that would, that would be like, um, and, and I mean, obviously, the streamer's responsibility, um, you know, yeah, to, to for sure. get something that, ha that has a good amount of barriers or whatever. Because uh, all, I'm, all I'm trying to say is that if, if the, age, the, the age thing is really hard, because um, it, it'll be difficult to, to navigate through content, right? Um, with like the, the eight, it, if people make the, the correct things, like at 18 plus in title, mature barrier, uh, at fucking, at, I don't know, at age very vlogging or some shit, it's take all the proper precautions on other topics that aren't gambling, right? Is it gonna be right or not, right? And at that point, I, feel, I just feel like it's a slippery slope. It, I generally fear that it could be a slippery slope. Can, I mean, what? Like what? It. Like what else are you concerned about being excluded from Twitch because we're concerned about the kids? Uh, I've had the same issues in, in um, uh, some of some of my other uh, adventures, like Overwatch, like whatever, like uh, drinking alcohol. Smoking. Yeah, so the, di the difference uh, is if you want to drink on stream, you're not getting paid by the alcohol ooh, company. To uh, uh, Hold on, I'm not done. Uh, Friday Fireball, boys! Friday Fireball! You have. I, I was going to say. Let's get fucked up! Come on now. Let, don't, uh, let's not do that. Come on. I'm now. not done let's, talking. Let's, you don't have an okay. affiliate code that people are going to go run into the shop and get fucking discounts on alcohol. And also in America, alcohol is extremely regulated. You cannot go into a store and buy alcohol without an ID. For the most part, people are oh, blind. Oh, so you're saying there's an 18 plus barrier that you have to cross that you can, you have to, there would be, be alcohol, possible for you to cross Alcohol that. Is, is, is regulated very fucking tightly by the government in all aspects. There are lots so it was of gambling all of and not this one, so, though. So you wouldn't be able to go next to a store and ask that, somebody to date or, or a brother. But that, that's up to Twitch, and that's up to the streamer. This, this, we're, talking, we're comparing that to gambling, which is unregulated and super shady. Alcohol is a, you know... 
That's on the legal side. That's on the other party's side. What I mean, what I mean is on the streamer's res responsibility and how they drive content when it has an, a, a, a legitimate Look, if, if you're doing a stream, barrier. If you're doing a stream where you're pounding alcohol to the point where you're blacking out, because that's kind of what the gambling is, right? It's like Thank pound, you. pound, pound, that's pound, the pound. Argument. So if you're doing a stream where you're blacked out gambling, that's or the even argument. Less, like, let's say, because Aiden Which would Ross fucking doesn't ban you. If you did a Fireball so sponsor he's stream and he got, he's got absolutely wasted, you would get banned. He's not even playing with his own money and he's pounding ice tea. Like you guys, let's go get fucked up with me. That's I've yeah, made this argument before as well. I mean, listen, you got to use your head and do the right thing. No, it makes sense. For I'll, I'll add to it in a minute. For 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 me, that uh, I don't. Uh, the point, you know, the I don't think really you should get blackout drunk on stream. I that's probably a bad idea. I can speak from experience on that one. It makes sense. All, all I wanted is that is that we the, the lines are drawn. That this isn't okay, even with an 18 plus. And that that is because I feel like if we always push this thing where like everything, if everything you do is a, oh that's that that's the children that then you're gonna be like oh my god they're drinking and saying that it's okay to children oh smoking that, that and then it's like it's like um it's like a never ending thing isn't it do you not understand like and it'll be it'll be literally difficult to drive content that's that's organic to these 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 imaginary barriers that that are in place that we're putting to try to try to counter it but well, I mean soci society is much well better equipped to preventing kids from getting, you know, alcohol and cigarettes. I mean, obviously kids can get whatever they want, but like it's well established societal norms and laws and regulations where this gam these kind of wild gambling sites are not. I think oh, Ethan okay. should it's ask him if, if uh, XQC would promote smoking on stream, if he would smoke cigarettes and talk about how with his affiliate code you could buy a cigarette. Specifically. Uh, 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 the I mean, seriously, that's the that's the question I have for XQC and everyone else is like, would you fucking promote cigarettes to kids? Would you smoke cigarettes? Game that has fucking loot boxes or some shit, and spam the five hundred dollar button back to back to back to back, and open this shit all fucking day without any barriers whatsoever fucking ever that prevents them from doing so. So it, when you talk about only the barrier as an argument, it just doesn't hold up. You were talking about what? What? I'm sorry. What you was the example you guys are reaching so used? far to make X look bad. X doesn't even have to look bad. He's literally inserting himself to make it seem like he's defending something that he already previously considered to be indefensible. Do you understand? So I don't even know why he's doing this. Because he's not even making, one, a good argument, two, hyper-focusing on, uh, like, the most semantics-focused element, which is the, uh, you know, you don't know if it's a scam or not, while simultaneously, like, I don't know why he's even defending any of this shit, to be honest with you. Because he himself already knows, like, yeah, this was bad, I fucked up, I'm not doing it. And you know, some you know what I mean? Started regulating that kind of thing. That wasn't with even a conversation that we had either, by kids. the way. That is very bad. You know, that that I agree with is bad. Yeah, I'm gonna add Trin to the call. Yeah, I mean, he wants to be in. Um, are you okay with that or not? Who are you adding? Train. Are you okay with that? Okay, sure. Yeah. Okay. Run okay. train on me. <laughs> I think he wants it for the content. Yes. Oh, we're still in here, boys. He make good points, not 100% scam, hard to bury. Hey, what? Train on me, daddy. Dude, he did not make good arguments. What the fuck is wrong with you? He made terrible fucking arguments, dude. Not 100% a scam? Okay, it's 90% a scam. So, uh, fuck it, dude. Like... Then it's acceptable, and it's hard to barrier. That's not even true. About like what games he's playing, where he's playing at. So like, if he wants to get into specific stuff like that, I need to do more research to be able to have a high level conversation with him. This is the worst. This is oh, the no, worst I, part I, about I, this is because I, I like little sure fucking twelve year old him. juicers are gonna come into my chat and everywhere else and try to like repeat XQC's watered down points to begin with, which are not good. Well, what's up, What's up, man? Hey, your mic is kind of scuffalonia. What's up, man? Bro, I'm gonna keep, yeah, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. Uh, my main mic ain't working, okay, and I gotta use these A50s, which listen, it's gonna be a little tough with my deeper voice because these A50s don't really capture it. But we're fucking here. How you doing, okay. A3? Hi, Train Rex. How are you? Uh oh. It's Train Wreck actually. Train, like train Wreck. Sorry. Train run. Are you gonna hear to run train on me? No, no, no. Listen. I look like a mean guy, but I'm actually a teddy bear inside, so don't worry. I'm not going to run train on you. Unless, hey, if you're into that, we can get naked and do some weird shit together. But, you know, if you're not into that, then no, I'm not running train. I, okay, we'll figure that out later. All right, sounds good, brother. Okay.
So let's get to the, uh, listen, let's get to the brass tacks, okay? Yeah, go know. ahead. Yeah, this is kind of an awkward, uh, because I feel like I entered in at a time. Oh, you're good. Forget where, it. Yeah. Well, we're well, all then, talking about everything already, you know? So we have to go back to the beginning. Does that make any sense? Listen, listen, yeah. I think, I, I, again, I was, I was explaining to, to XQC you fucking... that I'm not, I can't, I can't have a high-level conversation on all the facts about which games you're playing or which casinos. My main points that I want to make is that, one, these are unregulated gambling sites. I don't know which websites you're ex explicitly gambling on, and I can, we can try to fact-check that live. But two, you know, I don't know. I, I, people say that your audience is older, but, like, I mean, you're going to have a lot of kids watching you on Twitch, okay? You can say that to, you can say that to anybody anywhere on any platform whatsoever. Say what? Here. You, you, Here. you can make it that, that case an argument and, and have a point for any possible, any kind of creator. I'm going to – real quick, real quick. In three, I'm gonna it's top it of the fucking hour. Note, I'm going to ask you a question, okay? A very simple one. Have you sat through a 20-hour stream of mine? Just one of them. No. Which primes, boys? See, like, Get them this out. This is the problem. So, like, my biggest, like, my issue if you before want an we even get to any of the other issues experience. is the people you're getting your information from. It's coming. Right? The people that you're friends with on Twitch. Or a regular $5 they are subscription. projecting their own experiences to you, and you're taking them as fact. These people are the ones that play with fake money. These are the ones who have catered to 12-year-olds specifically for five-plus years. These are the ones that it is, they're doing everything that you're telling we that, you know, us that we're doing, but we're not. So, like, that's my issue. If you sat through one of my streams, one of them, you would understand, like, the content itself what I do, who I cater to, it is a whole different demographic, whole different style. The gambling comes first, the sponsorship second. I gamble for the last five years, anywhere I go, everywhere I go, off stream, on stream. Do you understand? Like, it's a whole different game. The people you're getting your information from, those streamers, they're gambling for the bag and only the bag. And that film money trash, I agree, that is immoral. Because at that point, it's not gambling anymore. Yeah, if, you're, if, you're, if you're taking a sponsorship, right, to get, let's say, 60K a month, okay, and you want to secure that 60K, which means you're playing with fill money, you're no longer gambling. And if you're no longer, no longer gambling... That's what Aiden Ross is doing, by the way. Wait, yeah, yeah, you're I, misrepresenting gambling as a concept. Even though it's already bad, you're making it worse just, just for bag, which is, is legitimately pretty evil. Well, yeah, well I, think, I think... Yeah, go ahead. I think Why? there is there is a debate to be had. Is casino gambling a, a an appropriate viewing sport? Is it an ethical, viewable sport? You know what I mean. What is casino gambling? Playing slot machines, which is I think what you do most of the time, right, Trainwreck? I do. Yes. So, is playing slot machines an ethical view of sport or activity uh -oh. to stream online? Period. I think it is. No. I, no, I think it is. I think it is. Uh oh. For many reasons, but I'll give you one. Okay? I truly believe, and I've, talk, I've said this publicly as well, if we can somehow get an 18 plus guarantee, like a Twitch watch party, I'm for that. I'm in support of that. I've been trying to push people who are under 18 out of my channel since the beginning of fucking time, okay? I clown these little 12-year-old fucks, okay? Fuck them kids, you understand? I don't want little 12-year-olds watching me. I don't want 16-year-olds <laughs> watching me, even before gambling. Do you understand? Like, it's not me, it's not my style. I find it fucking weird to, like, if you, if you see me at conventions, H3, you'll probably catch one 15-year-old walking up to me for a picture. You understand? It, it's not me or right, my- nobody I, watch you for pictures, though. Okay, so if, if Twitch was able to implement some guaranteed like 18 plus or 21 plus, then, then, then that would be a lot better. But currently, they're not doing that. And then the other issue itself, though, is beyond that is that um, but, you know, no, it's no, the no, websites no. themselves. We don't know how legit these websites are. We'll get there right now, but I want to address the other, issue, the, the other thing. My problem is we're mixing people who are taking the sponsorship for the bag and promoting gambling while they themselves are not gambling or love gambling. How much money do you get paid every month from I, them? I get paid, I'd say, well, right now I'm down. Right how, now much, I'm, how much do they pay you as a flat fee every month for, 
fulfilling your contractual obligations I'll, to them. I'll probably get in trouble for releasing it, but I'll tell you a million, a million a month. And I'm down 2.8 million this month. So now you can see how degenerate it is. It's bad. And I don't push it, oh, my Okay, now I know why. Now I know why they defend it, dude. A million dollars a month? Of course he's going to defend it. Is that what they're doing or not? So real quick, earlier in the in the argument. That's the most insane thing I've ever sorry. heard. I'm oh sorry my to cut you off. Can I, can I want to make one more clarification just to set the groundwork here. Well, do you, do you, all, you also get a commission from the people that use your bonus code, right? I get amount wagered, but I don't push the code at all. And it's on your screen the whole time, right? It is on my screen, but I tell people yeah. not to uh, gamble at all. At all. Every hour, I tell them to gamble. Every win, I tell them not to gamble. Yeah, I tell but them come they on. Lose. That's what performative. Mean, That's performative. You it know not, there's a I'll reason they're paying you a million dollars a month. You could say, hey, full fuck, don't gamble. But you, you're gambling. They're paying you a million dollars a month flat to gamble. You're getting a commission from all the people using your code. It's it's not – you can't just dance around it like, hey, guys, wink, wink, don't gamble. That's just – I understand okay. that you're not trying specifically to drive people to the code. But the effect of wait, wait, wait. you doing that is that people are going to do that. Wait, 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 wait. Let me respond. You are virtue signaling and high roading at that point. I am <laughs> listen. I'm not selling a false reality like Phil streamers. I'm not pushing my. No, let, it's let me tell you, better that you're doing that. I agree. No, let let me finish. Go ahead. Let, I am not pushing my code in hopes to make money from my code. I am not telling them. Then why be sponsored at all? Wait, wait. I am not selling a false reality that they can be like me and win hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars. Therefore, they should use my code. All of this That's stuff good. is moral and wrong. Do you understand? That's good. I am gambling on a site because I gamble anyways. And they're paying me to gamble on their site because they want me to be on their site. They, That's the people great. who gamble already are the ones that will be converted. Do you understand? Can I ask so, you? So gambling on a site is to convert people who are already gambling without me. Anyone who does not gamble, I push as much as I can not to get anybody to touch this shit. And I tell them the but truth. And if you watch, yeah. you know, H3, wait, if you watch my streams, if anything, my stream is most authentic in the gambling world. Why? Because it doesn't sell false realities. My last eight days, I've lost eight hours straight. I lost. Do you understand? When you watch a clip of me winning a million, I yeah. have an issue with that because you're judging off one 30 second clip, mm -hmm. but have you watched the nine hours leading up to it? Do you know but that that's when the I won point? That million, that's I the problem. Nobody sees the losses, everybody sees million. the wins. No, you don't. And let me let me tell you what. If you did know it, you would still The losses don't deter people like the wins motivate them. To sell the show that you need to be successful. And that's my fucking issue. Do you understand? I don't think the fact that the you're losing don't money. Don't deter people. First of all, it's better. It's better. I agree. The losses don't like, deter people as much as the wins motivate them to gamble. That's but always the I case. Think that you're deluding yourself by thinking to making yourself. I think you're telling your you're you're rationalizing that because by you being more upfront and more honest that it's okay that in in that regard. I just don't I don't see it that way. It is better. It's more it's honest. Exactly but let me ask you this. Problem. Let me ask you this. Yeah, the irony is his defense is literally explaining why gambling. it's such a big problem for so many human gambling. beings. Why take their money? To get involved wait, in wait, gambling. Wait, wait, wait. I have a point. I, you know what? You know what? Wait, I, you have you have a living, a living example in the call right now. What do you oh, mean? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah, why get paid? Oh, no, no. You're saying you no, no, know no, no, you're no, no, in no. for love of the game. Why take We we have we have a great example here. I I'm I'm a living example of what you're exactly what you're saying. My my first one day today, unsponsored raw balance, just pure degenerates, right? And 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 the first the, the first sponsor was no difference, at all. All I do is just hashtag edit. No difference in in in, in behavior, amounts, uh, no deliverables, absolutely fucking nothing, right? Literally, literally nothing, for 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 a pennant later on, right? Now. If you, if you compare that to the stream the day before that was just pure gambling, right? Uh, wh wh where did you draw the line? Where did you draw it? Because I, huh? I, 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 I did not have a code on screen or, or, or a code at the bottom or a, fucking, or, 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 or a, thing, a, a banner at the top or some shit. Or, it's better. Or... It's, it's better if you're not being paid to do it. It's much better. No, 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 no. It, oh man! What, the second, what, the second they was what was paid, but you, you nothing changed. Nothing you changed. You don't realize what you just admitted there. What what you just admitted there is pettiness. 
And you listen. I'm no, 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 you. no. It, no, no it's it. a very clear no, distinction. No, no, it's not. It's not. Think about this, okay? So if you're gonna virtue signal or I'm high not road virtue or, signaling, you know, then if you're gonna care about the kids, right? Right. So let's say I go live on stake and I'm not getting paid, and every day I'm spending slots with 50k people. You're telling me your argument would change because I don't have a banner or because I'm not sponsored? If that would change your argument, then it's not for the kids you're doing this for. It's for the fucking show. It's still it wrong. Doesn't, I didn't say it it's okay. Sense. I said it's better. Because you're, oh, saying, you're saying I'm in it for the love of the game. I don't care. I play with my own money, which is great, which is nice and all. But you're still getting paid a million dollars a month. And how much are you making on your, on your code, by the way? N Dirt uh, cheap compared to what I get yeah. paid. Dirt cheap. In three months, I've made 250k. In okay. Three months. Okay. That's nothing. That's nothing. Well, it, 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 it makes it it makes well, it a lot so easier to, to make gambling look like a, a sustainable activity when you're getting a million dollars a month from the platform to do it. If you weren't being paid by the platform to gamble there, first of all, you 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 wouldn't be sitting there playing nonstop. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, 250,000 is a lot of money. By the way. Even a dildo up my ass. Listen. I don't know anything about dildos up the ass, but 250,000 dollars is a lot of money. How can you t how can you tell me how can you tell me that I'm making it look sustainable when you just admitted you haven't watched a single stream? How can you tell me that? Well, as okay, you tell me how can you pay, how yeah, can you dude. play every day and lose millions and millions and millions? Are you worth a hundred million dollars? How much are you, you worth? Where's all this fucking money come from? You're such a I dumbass if you think that money is going to motivate so me what like the that. Fuck? Okay. What, 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 is, is I have forty five so thousand subscribers. Why I have money? Who the fuck are you? The IRS? Like what the fuck? I'm like, just wait, kidding. Most people, most people can't sustain losing millions of dollars a month. That, that doesn't seem like a sustainable uh, hobby to me. Now you want to shame me because I can? I'm, I'm confused. What is your argument here? Is it for the kids? Is it because I'm spending too much? You don't like it? What's the deal? Have you watched the stream? It's not sustainable whatsoever. It's gambling. Gambling is degenerate. Hey, I suggest this you argument, get some help, This argument friend. is dumb. Is wait, it, if somebody wants gamble, to lose all their money, wait, I mean, they, they can if they have the funds for it. I don't know. You don't gamble to make money. And if you watched one of my streams, H3, you, do. you would realize you would... You yeah, gamble to make money. Yeah, because I'm fucking addicted and I'm a fucking idiot. But it's not sustainable. I've lost the last eight I days. Would I would recommend. I I hear you. I hear all your. I hear everything you're saying. Oh my god, I'm so triggered. Okay, let's take a moment and just take a breath. No, because listen, I'm triggered for this reason. You literally just. You're told deluded, me bro. You know everything you're doing is wrong, and you don't want to give oh, it up god. because That's you're addicted to it. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be the referee. I'm gonna be the referee. Train is triggered, okay, because you're talking about, you're talking about something serious. He throws real facts and concrete evidence at you, and you throw curveballs and nonchalance what at him. And it evidence? Him. He says, he says, <laughs> you're the referee, dog. Like Come a, on. A, like a, a, a sustainable hobby. I'm and glad says, that XQC is now the referee. To lose $3 million a month. It does, I don't know many people with that kind <laughs> of money throw away. the referee. Away. You just said, you just said. I gamble on stream and get paid for it to make it look like a sustainable I, hobby. No. That's what you no, that's what you just said. And what I responded with was earlier you admitted you do not you have not watched one of my streams. If you had watched one of my streams, Dude, I understand you, would know, you don't beautify you know, it. You've, we, we've both we both agreed on this. You would understand that in no way, shape, or form do my streams in any capacity... I already agreed with that, dude. Gambling, let me finish. Represent gambling to be sustainable or even break even. Then stop so taking money. Then we can see how unsustainable it really is. Oh, my God. You, listen, I, in, in the beginning before I uh, met you or talked to you, I had this... Really, I had this inkling feeling you're doing this for a show. Now that I'm sitting here talking to you and telling you this stuff, and your responses are these, I know for a fact it's a show. Like, this is insane to me. Bro, my honest human-to-human -human advice is that I really think that you need help with your gambling addiction. Okay. Like, it just sounds like in a really, like in a really real way that you are in a really bad spot. It's hurting you. And, and, if you. and it sounds like you do have a lot of money invested from crypto, which is amazing. And I don't think anyone wants you to lose your ass doing this because gambling, oh. you're going to lose everything. And, you're, so we, and the people watching are going to lose we, everything, too, if they're getting involved. Well, apparently not, because he's getting a million paid a month. I don't know Holy where else shit. to go with this. I mean, dude, I, I don't know what to say. I mean... Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, uh, listen, I'll tell you what. Because that's what I'm hearing through it, is that you're basically saying, I have a, a very severe addiction to gambling. That's what I'm hearing, and, and, I, and, I, and I feel bad for you. I, hope, I, I really want you to, you know...
Because, th- I mean, that's the way you're rationalizing it to me. Ethan is backtracked from Rick I'm RTP that the site is a scam. The, the site is a scam. Th- that's what I'm telling you. He hasn't backtracked any okay, of them. Okay, I feel, I can't, okay, the points were made, I think they were very simple. He says, he speculates uh, the no site could be a scam, what, what as far as, like, is, rigged right? uh, yeah, roles. Which I think it's a point, reasonable the, the, fucking the, the, assertion. There's a very clear show, okay, that um, he still thinks there, it's a scam. There's a money being made at least through the, the absolute raw jump. gambling of it, right? And if he wants to throw his money away, um, I mean, we can speak about you know fucking, uh, oh yeah, you shouldn't do that or whatever. I get that. Uh, yeah, well, you, the, yeah, yeah, you shouldn't. But the, if he wants to, I mean, you can't. I mean, I think, I think, I think you're can. allowed to. Of course. Exactly. But what he okay. what, that boils boils down to him saying this. What I'm doing, I'm so being very the normal honest. Casino? We yeah. agree. I'm not. I, Why don't you do a fucking normal that, casino stream, then, dude? Why don't you fucking uh, do a normal casino stream? Guess what? You can't, because it's fucking illegal. The reality of gambling. Okay? That's the point. Okay, thank you. Dumbass. Yes. Why and do so, people think this so, is a but, good but argument, you're dude? You're using, you're saying that because I'm upfront yeah, and why honest don't you go about to a legitimate the realities American of gambling, that I'm not glorifying, I'm not gambling, dude. But that 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 makes it okay. And while I will, no. I, I have not said that. I have not no said that. Well, if it's not okay, then why do you do it? I think the speculation no. that the, the website could be juicing the roles is a no, very I, I, understandable I one. Not okay. I don't I think that, do and that was his okay. uh, pure no, speculative uh, point of view. It's the influence. And I don't disagree with him on that either. And the people watching you. And I do. The reason why they're in Curacao is literally because they're unregulated. Very often. Do you understand? I tell them gambling is not sustainable. It is not okay. Do not put a single dollar in. You will fucking lose. And I say it over and over. Not to, I show it with action. It's not like I'm sitting there so, winning and saying don't gamble. In that way, it, it would be performative. You're right. But I am losing and losing and losing, but I'm having a good time. I, 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 I don't think the outcome should justify the rules. But I don't even give a in fuck this scenario. It just, I, don't, I think it's irrelevant to even talk record, about it. I've never even speculated okay, that the rules are rigged. Saying, I don't know why I'm the fuck they're talking about okay. this you so much. Acknowledge that what you're doing I think is that not okay, right? Is besides but the point. At the same time, you're saying because you're up front, I think that you're point is completely unimportant. doing these streams. I'm saying that it doesn't justify the streams. And so that's where we're disagreeing. Just because the, you're up front about not, how bad it is, it doesn't justify you doing it. The fact that you're self-aware no, about it not, does not absolve you of what you're doing. We're we not, first of all, I'm not looking to be absolved. That's well, number there, one. There, there's an issue of should you be doing it or should you not be doing it? I think you should not be doing it. The fact that you're self-aware about it does not change my opinion about if you should be doing it or not. Yeah, I listen, listen, and you have every right to have the opinion to think I shouldn't be doing it. Where we disagree is you spitting bullshit to try and somehow solidify why I shouldn't be doing it. Do you understand? So you're trying to change why I shouldn't be doing it from your opinion to some sort of fact because it's rigged, it's a scam, you know, there's weird shit going on. That's the problem. Do you understand? But if you think I shouldn't be doing it, that's completely fine. I know gambling's fucking bad. I say it every day. It is a terrible fucking thing. You will never fucking win. You'll be lucky to break even. That's the real gamble. Breaking even is winning some fucking how. And you will always fucking To be fair, lose. though, I don't, Long run, you will I don't think it's lose. an Even unreasonable lucky, speculation to make beginning. that it could be You're rigged still roles. To come back and lose all I don't think it's an unreasonable speculation to be made, but that's, that's it doesn't matter. Gambling. You're it literally it does not matter. It. I gamble. I don't, I don't convince myself since I'm transparent. It's okay. No, it's not okay, but I enjoy gambling. The difference is you think the streamers you talk to, they're gambling not because they love it. They're gambling because they're getting paid on that it, You understand? And that is a larger problem because none of it is transparent. And there, and there is... I agree that's a bigger problem. Do you understand that? That's a huge problem. I agree. Yeah. I agree with you, you on that you, point. You, okay, you as a streamer, you're losing or winning, okay, doesn't justify shit, okay? It just doesn't. It's about the way you do it and what you portray while doing it, okay? If When I did my first gambling stream, I said, guys, I just bought 30k worth of crypto from Train. That money is lost. We already lost it. I didn't buy a fucking car or a lamp or a fucking bed. I bought a fucking piece of, 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 of content. I, I, I legitimately, what? 30K, it's already lost. Well, let's have a good time with it, right? That, that's, that's how I portrayed it, because that's how, exactly how it was. The, prob- the problem is, the problem is, is it these what? other dudes it, that kind of like mass, like, uh, they're not being upfront about what's happening. If Trey wants to say, guys, I'm buying 500K 
right? And, 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 uh, and we're demoing it, and it's on my wins or whatever. That's fine with it. So these other dudes, like, uh, they'll, get a, they'll get a big win. They don't keep all of it. The money was fake in the first place. Yeah. So, it, it's, yeah. just a, it's just a dishonest exactly. portrayal of gambling. It's fucking stupid. So the way they're losing it is terrible. So there's degrees of it, I think. I agree with you, Ethan. I'm actually against you on this. I feel, I feel like we shouldn't do it. And I get that. And that's an opinion. We're both right. We're both wrong. I agree with See, everything. He says that he can, he can. But there's degrees. So people are doing yes, it way worse. Yes, I agree. Worse. There's, there's the degrees. And, and train wreck, I'll say this. <laughs> if you can say, if you disclose how much you're getting paid, if you can verify that the websites you are playing on are regulated by like legitimate gambling commissions, yeah, yeah. let's talk about the casino now. If you I'm, I'm not... hold on, hold on. If you can verify that it's all legit, over the table, and governed by legit gambling commissions, if you disclose how much you're being paid by them, and then then I would say that 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 that's as as close to to clean about it and upfront about it as you can be. And it sounds like you are pretty upfront. And I agree that there are, that there are, you know, obviously layers to it. Like take what Aiden Ross is doing. That's the worst case because he's not using his own money. His ki his, his fans are especially kids and, and um, he doesn't care about gambling and um, he, pro he doesn't win or lose. He, it's just not even his money. So he doesn't give a fuck. So he, he really is selling a fantasy world. I think, Yes, I think Phil Money sells false realities. I've talked to Aiden about this. Like, uh, just for the money, viewer, what the fuck is Phil, a Phil Money? Phil Money is a false reality. Phil Money is where uh, it's the same thing other streamers have taken, mutuals of ours, H3, right? Phil Money is where a casino pays you 60K a month, let's say 60K a month or 80K a month, whatever the fuck it is. They pay you, and then what they do is they want you to keep that money protected. So what they do is every stream they give you deposits of $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000 continuously. And if you win, you keep 20%. And if you lose, you lose Ugh. nothing, right? So it's a win-win situation and you're yeah. selling a false reality because everyone that's watching you, they're taking full risk while you yourself are not. So at that point, you're literally taking advantage and you're selling a false reality and that is fucking dangerous, right? So, yeah, I agree. I'm very vocal about that, and I'm very against that, right? And that's why I, so like the same heat I get from the side of you guys, I'm getting it from the gambling community. Those motherfuckers hate me too, because I've come into the scene, and I'm using raw balance, and I'm fucking talking about the transparency effect of the gambling world, and they fucking hate me. So, this, so I'm getting, I, I'm fighting a two-front war. I got you motherfuckers over here, and I, the, I got the gambling streamers over here. I, I'm in the middle. Goddamn cock meat sandwich, you understand? So... Oh, well, well, okay, okay. Well, I'm not, I'm not against you. I didn't, I didn't come here to fucking pincer you and clap you. All I said is that I, I've come to the terms with, with Ethan is asking, or, Ethan is texting me to ask me if I want to come on. I said I think it's gonna get heated if I get on. And why it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be bad. And I feel like Can you're you absolutely entitled. Uh, Hassan? Do you guys mind if Hassan? And, and you're absolutely entitled um, to, to, to you saying that it is okay and doing it up until yeah. it's, it, it, it could be regulated or. Or stuff or whatever. Add but I, I feel we need to remain. Um, oh, Adam. We, we have to um, remain at, rooted in reality where we know there's degrees, right? That are, that are like um, exponential, right? Where some of them at the very bottom of the, of the ladder and it ramps up to fucking scum lord, dog shit, trash, real fast, real quick. And, and it's bad for everybody. That's the main problem. Is when you guys use the broad effect terms is all the same, and you, though, I mean, well, yeah, no, 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 it's not. A, you lump us with the fuckers that sell a, 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 an idea. Are you uh, watching uh, this? Yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. Is it? You're oh, lumping. You're lumping the scum lords with the scam lords. You're doing it again. Can you guys hear me? Well, ultimately, I, like, all I, fucking I, roads lead to the ocean, right? Like, come on, dude. I mean, like, you're doing it one way. He's doing another way. Yours is a little better, but ultimately... That's a slippery all slope, fucking, Ethan. All fucking rivers lead That's to the ocean, slope. dude. No, oh, shot. oh, what's next, Ethan? I... Oh, I open ten loot boxes. I'm going to jail. What yeah, the fuck? Oh, no. if, if you want to give the argument, why not? Why not? Can everything. you guys hear me or no? Yeah, we it's hear you. It's all bad. Guess what? Okay. Surprise, first of all, all first of all, slippery slope is a is a fallacious argument. You can't use that. It's a logical fallacy. The world doesn't mean that what you're doing Not isn't bad. Okay. Slippery slope is a paradox. No.
it's slippery slope is literally a, a logical fallacy. It's like hold on. It's like making an argument about like any laws well, that could be bastardized. So like Son, all laws. I can't hear you. Don't Wait. use terms that are more than five syllables, and so nobody's gonna follow you. you. Well, you just you said can. slippery slope is a debate. Well, it's yeah, what yeah about but if you use words that have more this? than five you're, syllables, you're, you're saying, and what what about about hold on, hold on, I'm gonna disconnect. Like, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in and out. Okay, can you hear me now? Too, so I feel like there's some cross debating going on. Why is um? Why is there not? But I can't hear everyone. What's going on? I can't hear anybody. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear train wreck? Okay, so real quick as well. Can I hear you? While we figure this out. Yeah. Listen, I can't. Okay, you know, so Hassan, I, sorry, sorry. Sorry, hold on one second. Okay, I feel so like I'm we've, back. yeah, I'll talk while you fix this. I feel like we've okay. shifted ever since I joined the call from um, promoting to kids to gambling just being bad in general, right? Like, and I think now I'm Deadly confused. Deadly advice. Yeah, but the, the, the primary argument used to kind of like uh, 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 muddy the waters is that we're sitting here and you've included me in this, which I find odd because I'm probably one of the, one of the few streamers that, you know, uh, caters to a much older audience. Are there kids watching? Sure. But it's, I'm not catering to them. I'm getting, I'm trying to get them out as much as I can. And if Twitch gives me more tools, I'll get them out altogether. Right? So I, we need to figure out what you're talking about here. Are you talking about people who are catering to children and promoting to children, knowing they're promoting to children? Or are we talking about gambling is just bad in general? And even if you're streaming to an older audience, it should be gone, right? Like I need to figure out where, where this is going. So I feel like that the argument has evolved since I got here. Yes, that's what happens generally with conversations. Look, there's different layers that we've debated it all. I mean, yeah, I don't but it's need only to relitigate. evolved because I've gotten here. I don't right? need to go back and relitigate every single point. Let me just try to get Hassan's mic working. Can you guys hear me or no? Yeah, we hear you. I mean, everyone I else can hear me. One? I think it's an in-studio problem, probably. Why can't we hear? No, him? no, no, Hassan, Hassan. His, his the producers are multi-billionaire market leaders. Their audio is not scuffed. It's yours, you fucker. Fix your shit, you pussy. No, it's there's yours. probably no, there's probably a point, Dan. It's yours, the fuck. Listen, there's probably a problem with uh, you know, hey. uh, getting it into Ethan's <laughs> no, uh, speakers no, or ears or something. That's a point, Dan. If we can't hear yeah, Hassan, he might out. be right that it is on our side. Yeah, maybe. It most likely is. Yeah. Um, what the fuck? Why can't we hear Hassan? It's, Hassan, turn... it's, it's because of the camera. Hassan, yeah, turn off your camera. Turn, turn off, off your camera, camera and sorry. enable on your OBS. There's Wait, really? Is okay. and then Can leave you hear the me now? Come back in. Leave the call and come back in. <laughs> it's this one. Oh. No, 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 no,